First of all, I want to thank you immensely for shouldering our mother's uh, barrier financially all alone. By so doing, you gave our mother the befitting barrier she deserved. Her debt is an irreparable loss to both of us. However, uh, if there is one thing good about her death, it is that you came home after five years. Despite the fact that the city is just a few hours away. You only send your wife and daughter to come and see Mama. So I want to exploit this opportunity to ask you where I have offended you. Apart from what happened when we were teenagers. Onduka, you see this house, your days in it are numbered. I don't understand. Don't worry. You will understand very soon. You should get ready. We are leaving for the city immediately. Ah. City? But I thought you said we were going to spend some time here in the village after the burial. Exactly. But the burial is over. So we have to leave now. Daddy, I don't understand. Why? Look, I am not under any obligation to make you understand. Yes, we are living within the next one hour. I will take it personal with any of you that keeps me waiting. Mommy, what is wrong with Daddy? Honestly, I have no idea. Mommy, I don't understand. I don't understand why Daddy has chosen to be distant from his own blood brother. What is going on? Even if Onkunduka has offended him in the past and he doesn't want to forgive him, how about the children? Did they offend him too? Did Chinwe and Ikena offend him too? I need to talk to him. This is getting too much. Melissa, when I was growing up, I did not ask God to give me a difficult man like your father as a husband. Hey! Mom, that is not difficult. He's just being plain wicked. This is wickedness. Mommy, I have to talk to him. Let I really don't understand what is happening right now. Ah, what is it? I'll be waiting here. Daddy, I want to have a word with you. The only word you are permitted to utter right now is to tell me you're ready. Daddy, why are you being difficult? Why are you being so difficult to even your own family? Is that a question or an interrogation? I I, I don't mean to be disrespectful. The oh boy, you're making you're Enough! Make enough! What you have spilled from your mouth already is enough disrespect. Whenever I make a decision, Everyone, I mean everybody under me must abide by it. That is the least I deserve. Now you get out from here and ensure that you are ready 
By the time I come in there. Dad, Daddy, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere until Chin Wendu comes back from the hospital. It's somehow when she comes back and find out that I went back to the city without seeing her. It's not, it's not right. You still talk? Idiot! By the time I come in there and you and your mother are not ready, then you will see the other side of me. Go and tell her. It's no longer one hour. It's 30 minutes. Now leave. Idiot. Get out from here. You want me to hit you again? Me. Told you it was a bad idea. Told you? Mom, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. If heaven will fall, let heaven fall. I'm not going back to the city. Another bad idea. Eh? I think you have to reconsider that your position. Because I will not come out when the trouble will start. As for me, let me go and change. I advise you to do the same. Don't go in any way. Don't go in any way. Hello. Hey, baby. What, what is it, you? Is, is everything all right? Nothing, nothing. No, you can't tell me you're fine. And from your voice, it doesn't look like you're fine. What is the problem? Maybe I said nothing. I'm fine. It's just um, family issues, minor family issues. Mom, all that. Babe, can you stop? I don't like it when you're very curious like this. If I say I am fine, just take it that I am fine and stop asking questions. Fine, let me call you back, I beg. Hey. So being curious about my girl's mood is now a crime or a taboo? Really? It's alright, I'm, so, I'm sorry I called. Guess you're not in a good mood. Right. Hello? Hello? Since he said all of you should get ready to leave, and he is still standing outside. Hmm? I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere without seeing Chimwen. Let him get ready to kill me because he will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Melim, he will not kill you, okay? Go in and get ready. Chimwen will soon arrive. Okay? Mem, mem. Mem, mem. <laughs> mem, mem. Go in and get dressed, okay? Eh? No problem. Eh. Mem, mem. <laughs>
Papa, how are you? I am fine. So how did it go? Ha! Papa, it's a good news. Yeah. <laughs> it went very well. What? <laughs> Just that the doctor said that you come back to the hospital in a week time. Oh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, but yes. guess what the good news is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the doctor said there is hope. <laughs> she make a I will this see. This is good though. This is who shall be prayer. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh. Yes, so Papa, we need to be prayer for. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's my sister Melissa? Let me share the good news. Yeah. <laughs> She's in Mel Okay. But they are all they are getting ready to go back to the city. Yes, yes. Mm. To the city? Yes. What happened, Papa? But she promised she won't leave so soon. She didn't want them all. Her father ordered them to get ready. That he's taking all of them to the city today. Mm. Hmm? I don't know anything I get on now. Just mm. like that. Let them all. <clears throat> but Papa, this is not fair. This is not fair. Seriously, this is not fair and it has to stop. She's okay, it's eh? okay, it's okay. It's okay. My sister wanted to stay with me. Eh? It's been long we stayed together as sister. She wanted to stay with me, Papa. It's okay, eh? it's okay. It's not just fair. It's okay. After burying everybody will just go. Is that how they do it? It's okay now. It's okay. What is it? This man is your younger brother. And this house belongs to you. And when you are born again, you are the first son of this house. Eh? What is all this? Papi Gangwa. You can sit down. Let me tell you something. Let me briefly tell you the offer I made for my brother to succeed, which I have not told anyone. After the death of our father, I stopped at standard three for my brother to finish standard six. After some time, Someone from the neighboring town came to our house. Um, I hope all is well. We Things are, are moving fine for you people. We are managing. Yeah? Oh. We are managing. We thank you. Mm. How is the family? We are okay. We are okay. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you calling? I call you. Sit down. Do you know him? No, Mama. His name is Chief Johnson. You better. Oh my God, Chief, you are highly welcome. Mm, thank you. So, how is it with you in the village here? Yeah? No matter. Okay. Um, Duka. Mm -hmm. Chief here came from the city. He wants to take you back with him to the city to go and learn a trade. Mm -hmm. Then, after seven years. He will settle you to set up your own. Yes. For me, this is a very good opportunity for us so that, you know, you can change my life, change your own life, change the life of this family. But I don't know your position on this. What do you say? Please, Chief, can you give me a privilege to think about it just for a night? Well, it's all right. Um, I like people who who think, consider things, you know, 
ask questions, consult before they finally take decision. Hmm? You can do that. If by tomorrow uh, I come, if it is positive, we go together. He just only beg you, ma ki beg you, baba mbo. If I de bare you no no. I am still wondering why you have to think over such a wonderful opportunity given to you by a chief. It is because I don't want to turn it down in his presence. What are you talking about? He should take nursing instead. Ah, you and I know that nursing is a very stubborn child. I might not obey their instruction over there. You know, he is stubborn. But he will make good businessman. I will let hand work instead. Hand work? And who will pay for your tooth when you are done? You know how things have been with us here since your father died. Eh? I will follow my friends who are into farm work. They make money from it. After learning, the money I save from it will help us a lot. Doka, Mama. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, Mama. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. Doka, why are you calling me? Yes, Mama. I want us to talk. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. What I want to talk to you about is in your best interest. I'm not interested. And don't come here again and say you want to say anything or uh, anything rubbish to me. I'm not interested. Next one. I know you're a very intelligent boy and can withstand any business out there. He came to take your brother, but your brother prefers you go so that you can be that businessman you have always wanted to be. As you go, always say the truth when the need be. And be obedient to your ogre and to his wife. Hmm? Finally, whatever you become tomorrow, don't forget it's your brother here that stepped down for you to go. Did you hear what I said? Nelson! Nelson, I'm talking to you! Uh, well, since the senior one, Doka, said he will not be going, maybe he has better things in the village he are doing. But, have you fully discussed with Nelson to know if he truly wants to go? Yes, I have. Yeah. I have. He's interested. Okay. He wants to be a businessman. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, I'm, I'm okay with him. Uh, call him Nelson. <laughs> Let's go. Do not deviate from anything. Make sure you are good to your master, to his wife, and everybody. I pray he behaves himself over there. He will. He will. I know, but I still wish it were you that go for this job. Mama, if he succeed, we all have succeeded. I know, but he still seems not to be happy with you. We are fine, Mama. We are fine. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. We are fine. We are fine. 
after all this, he has still not forgiven me for what happened when we were younger. But we shall see how it ends. Papa, Papa, you will not kill yourself because of this, your brother. Papa, stop worrying your life because of your brother. Papi can't do more power. If you die now, I'm going to lose my body. You can now. Please, get my walking stick. Sit down. 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 One day more. Calm down. I'm begging you to calm down. You know who your father is. You know who he is. Confront him with only worsening issues. Melissa, my own happiness is this. Oh. Your father's bitterness over his brother did not affect us. That's just my happiness. Ah, she, huh? Don't worry. I will, I will find a way to talk to him about your eye. I'm sure my mother and I will be able to convince him. So you can go for the surgery. The surgery? Yes. Hey, hey Melissa. God bless you. I am grateful. You don't understand. My daughter said that the eye is getting more damaged by the day. Gee, stop, stop, stop. Seriously, I really don't know what came over my father. When we were coming back for this burial, he said we would stay one week. One week. All of a sudden, he just changed his mind. If not, we would have been able to stay and plan. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll come back on my own. Eh? When I go, I'll come back. You know, go. Yes, I trust you. Melissa, I, trust you. I hope that someday he'll be bold enough to tell us how we have offended him. Okay. Okay, now I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chi, Chi, I'm so sorry. Eh? I don't know what came over my father. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. I understand. It's not your fault. Um, please, you people should manage this money. Yes, and please just, just manage it. When I come again, I'll bring something. And um, please take care of um, Chinwendo. You've seen her; she's getting worse by the day, so she needs all the attention she can get. Take care of her. Thank you so so much. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, what? Okay, go. It's money. Hey, 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 hey. Melissa, one name. Melissa, hey. Zofa. Okay, okay. yes. uh, Melissa. Can you say again? She stopped now. Stop. Oh, I've stopped. But sometimes I ask what would have done. Yeah, my brother, my father. She's not for you and your mother. She God will cry. bless you. Next word, you will continue to be my sister. Amen. Thank you. You're a gift to me personally. Thank you very much. Amen. And you're a gift to me too. Thank you so, so much. Okay. You're welcome. I pray that my God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Mm. 
Don't worry, we are family. Yes. This is what family do. Thank you very much. It's okay. It's okay. God bless you too. Thank you. God bless. Bless you too. My God, do bless. He can know Zugosia. And he's even talking to himself. Yeah, he just buried his mother. His dead mother. Are you serious? You really know him? Yes, I know him. He's a very, very, very good man. But it's just that life is not treating him well. And the worst of it all is that he has a very rich brother in the city who doesn't even care about him. But, and his daughter, Chiwendo, is almost going blind. But he has no money for the surgery. Cheregudi, is he the father of Chiwendo, the one that sings? Yes, he's the father. Chai, blood relationship is gradually dying. How can someone have money and will not be able to help his own blood? I don't know what the problem is, but we can't just jump into conclusion. So we have to, we have to hear from the other side before we jump into conclusion. But all I know is that. Chiwendo is a very, very beautiful girl and she has a beautiful voice too. She's so handsome. Mama? Now, where is your father? Oh, uh, she went out. Ah, okay. When he comes, eh, uh. tell him that something came up for us in the city. That we are gone. Ah. Uh, well, save John, oh? Uh, thank save John. You. Greet your sister for me. Oh, okay, now. Oh, what is this? Are you going with me or you want to join public transport? Same journey, oh? Okay, no, bye bye. All right, same journey, oh? Bye, bye. 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 Bye, Look at the way you are strolling. You go, 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 Bring out the car now. Bring, bring this thing. What is it, sir? Enter the car, let's go, enter. <laughs> you need to drive out. Oh yeah, come and stay. Pick up, we are all Ah, Pepe body. Hold on, oh, hold on. My daughter is behind you. Oh. I have been dying in silence. Mm -mm. What happened? 
Nelson, my brother, hates me for no just cause. And I don't know why. I decided not to wash our dirty linen in the public. But it has gotten to a point where I can no longer cope. That my brother refused to help me and my children is secondary. But my primary aim now is that as brothers, we should live in peace. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that it was the barrier of our late mother that brought him home after a very long time. What? This morning I sought his audience so that we can discuss as brothers. Do you know what Nelson told me? What did he say? Nelson looked me in the face and told me that my days in the house he built has been numbered. Nelson said that to you? He did. This is unbelievable. I know that things are not rosy between both of you, but I never knew it has gotten to this extent. That is why I came to you, my brother. So that you can help me beg Nelson to forgive me for whatever I did to offend him. Eh? I will also go and see Mazi, Okoro, and Lady Ba. My daughter is going blind, and I don't have any land to sell because my younger brother has fenced all of them for no reason. Eh? And he still wants me to leave the house. Hmm, it's okay. Go and meet Okoro and Lady Ba. What time do you want us to come? Um, I think 6 p.m. will be fine. That's all right. Should the Okoro and the Deba object about time? Get back to me. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. I'll be on my way. My regards to your family. Thank you. Uh, my daughter. <laughs> the, hello? Uh, the daughter that makes us happy. <laughs> Hi. Merci. Jesus Nero Nani Jesus Nazo Nani ya Geburu Bay Nile Odigo Okwa Nani Nani Jesus Nero Nani Jesus Nazo Nani age buru pai nile odigi onyozo Nani Jesus ni room Nani ge Jesus nasu Nani ge wa ge bu ge bu pai nile odigi onyozo the devil is a liar. Amen. The devil is a big liar. Amen. Look, okay. Nelson must explain to my clansmen what he meant by that I should pack out of this house. Ah. Mom, no goodness in I don't know you are still talking about my uncle. Papa, calm down. You know, calm down. There is nothing that Jehovah, the creator of the whole universe, cannot do. Papa, I'm the one telling you this. Do me a favor and look unto Jehovah. Only him has the final say. Are you hearing me, Father? Papa, calm down for me. Please, I, I don't even. Papa, enjoy my song, please. Ah, just be happy. No, ma'am. Papa. No, no, no. Why you get better? Chuku, 
But listen to this song. Chuku idim Chimu idim Idim Chuku Chuku idim Papa Prezi Idim Idim Chineke mo Let's go. Chuku Idima 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 Chuku Chuku Idima Papa sing Chime Dima Idima Chineke muo, biana rekele, bweni ile. Chineke muo, biana rekele, bweni ile. Chuku, chioma ne mema, chioma ne mema, chioma ne mema. The way you talk about this girl, I have seriously found out that you are in love. Let's pay her bright present in all this. No. No, Steve. It's not about bright price. There's something wrong with that girl. Something is bothering her that she doesn't want to disclose. Especially when she gets to the village. Her mood changes, she's always sad. Just check out the other day at the burial ceremony. You would notice that that family are not together. Look at the way the man acted. So mean, so... So wicked and that is so, so sad. So what exactly did you find out? A lot, Steve. Most importantly, I found out that the brother does not see his brother. As a brother. Sisters don't see her sister as a sister. So tell me, Steve, would you want to be a son in law to that kind of family? There is more to this. How can Uncle Nelson hate us this much. What is that thing that my father did to him that he can't forgive? There are too many questions begging for answers. Anyway, no man is God. After my seven years of apprenticeship, a man I served with all my heart accused me of having his money. God, I am now stranded and confused in this village. And my uncle Not ask me how far or how well. Anyway, no man is God. If God says, I will make it. 
nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me. I want you to know that you are the first son of the family. That Nelson was blessed with money does not make him the family turned to Esau and Jacob. The Bible story, you know. If he does not care about you and your family, come on now. Ignore him and move on with your life. He pulled down the family house and built a new one where my mother lived until she died. I wonder what gave him the right to ask me to move out from the house. Mazenduka, Nelson is a madman. He shouldn't try anything that will make us to fight him in this clan. I want to tell you to go and live in your house. He will not do anything. We are behind you. Steve, I am beginning to get fed up of this relationship. What exactly is the problem? Everything is the problem, Steve. I do the calling. I do the texting. Then I do practically everything, and this is beginning to hurt my pride. Have you tried talking to her about it? Calling her is not the problem. Reaching her is. Since she left for this burial, everything has changed. I call her, she doesn't pick. Sometimes she doesn't go through. I send her text messages. She does not reply anyone. I'm beginning to get fed up. I mean, this is not the kind of relationship I want. I mean, there is no commitment in this relationship. When she comes back, it's work, work, work. So when is the time for the relationship? Where is the commitment in the relationship? Where does she work? And, I mean, what do you intend to do? Well, um... Our father owns this very large establishment, so when she comes back, it's work, work, work. But this time around, she would have to choose. It's either me or the work. Uche, it's not as easy as you said. Remember I told you in your house the other day that you're in love. Okay? So I suggest you Take it easy with her. Uh, Steve, you don't seem to understand. It's not about love. It's about commitment. It's about communication. Without these two factors, there is no relationship. If she comes back and she pays all the attention to work, then I might as well call it quick. Yes. <sighs> Uche, I suggest you take things easy. Okay? Just like you said. When she comes back, you make your position known to her. Mm. Ndoka. Nelson does not attend his men meeting. He does not care even when someone dies. You are the one making contributions for him. How dare he utter such rubbish? I don't want to hear about this, your brother. Your son, he can had issues with his master. For months, he has been in this village. Was he not aware? His big manism ends in his house. What rubbish. Yeah. <clears throat> He's my younger brother. 
That's why I don't want to bring up issues, especially because of the children. That's why I want you clansmen of mine to be aware of what he is up to. Go to your house and rest. We shall see to it. Do you understand me? Um, let's go. Hey, Agu! Okay. Come. Okay, Did anyone ask of me? No. Nobody. Uh, yes. Nepa people, they come, they say we they hold them. Nepa people? Yes. Are you allowed them to leave? Huh? You didn't break their ladder? Hi! Why are you this stupid? Just look at my house. Have we seen any Nepal light? I have solar. Are you allowed them to leave? Uh, Organovers. Uh, if our village now, so they embarrass people. They go brick build, brick ladder. And they no go give us light. Too. Now ladder we they use for village. You knew that? No, you knew that and you allowed them to leave. You are an idiot. You know, say government people. Shut up! Next time if they come here, make sure you allow them in. Lock the gate and give me a call. Okay? Sir, make a head. You are very stupid. Okay, Get out from here, idiot. Are you still angry with your father? What he did was so wrong. Very wrong. I know. And that has drawn the line. You cannot afford to still be angry with your father till now. It's been two weeks since we came back from the village. No matter what, forgive him. Okay? He's still your father. It's been two weeks since we came back from the village. Unless there's another thing. Mom, the thing is, I am no longer happy with father. Same here. I'm not happy with him too. But what can we do? You have to drop that attitude. He's still your father. Okay? Mom, do you know I begged father? I begged him to assist Chiwendu with her eye surgery. Do you know what your husband said to me? He sent me out of his presence, shouted at me and said no. Seriously? <laughs> Mom, please, please. You need to talk to your husband. I... He has to do something about it. 
Unless he wants that poor child to be blind. It's okay. Let me talk to him. How are we going to do this operation? I am worried about your sister. Um, Papa, I think we have to sell one of our land. Yes. We have to sell it to start a business and um, use the rest for Chinwe's eye problem. Because she barely sees anything these days. What could you have could you now? And it's getting worse every day. I am a peaceful man and I don't want issues. That my brother took the lands does not mean that I left them for him. There's going to be a way out. I've reported to the clansmen, and I know something must be done. Something must be done, Papa. Something must be done, when, Papa. Papa, you are the first son, and you are allowing your younger brother to overshadow you. Why? What right does he have to take that land and face them? Bring down your voice. Papa, no, 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 Papa, don't tell me to bring down my voice. Papa, why? You are behaving as if you are not the first son. Nelson has money and connection. And we must follow him with wisdom. Wisdom, Kenny? Wisdom on the couple? On the couple? Wisdom, Kenny? Papa, behave as the first son. What is all this? This is unbelievable. Papa, look at Chinwe's condition. Papa, you said you on top of the matter with the clansmen. Let's watch and see what will come out. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, please get me my food. I'm hungry. Can I have a word with you? Well, go ahead. As long as uh, the conversation does not involve my brother and his children. Why are you being so wicked to your brother? Your blood. Rephrase that statement. Because I want to prevail on myself to assume that I didn't understand that expression. With all due respect, my husband, you are not getting it right. If everyone should lie to you, I cannot. I'm your wife. Please, whatever your brother must have done to you, forgive him. To err is human. But forgiveness is divine. Was I stuttering when I said I don't want to have a conversation around my brother and his children? Or you just intentionally decided to be stupid? No. Now saying I take exception to that. Why are you doing this? Because I told you to forgive your brother? With due respect, Nelson, I am not your slave. I am your wife. I have
have a stake in this marriage too. Since we got married, I know you detest all my opinions, but that does not make me a slave or stupid or dumb. The reason we... Hey, just stop! Stop this minute! Now get out of my room! I will not take it from you! I will not! I will not! I'm not your slave! You don't command me like that! Forgive your brother Nelson! Forgive him! Is that what I did wrong? You are not his God. Mommy, what is it? Mom. I'm fine. You are not fine. Melissa, I want to be left alone. Please. <laughs> Mom, you know that's not possible. Okay, fine. I will let you calm down. When you're calm, I will come back with my barrage of disturbance and you will have to tell me what happened. Because if you don't, I will keep disturbing you even if you yell at me until you tell me what happened. Okay, fine. Your father is actually the problem. I don't know why he does not want to forgive his brother. He does not want to forgive him. He does not want to help the children. <sighs> tired. Oh, I'm tired too. But what do you think we should do? I don't know. The money I have with me is not going to be enough. I wish I had my personal account to withdraw more. Because we run a joint account. I can't even touch the, that account without him finding out. No, it's okay. It's uh, okay. Oh, you've sent the goods. That's good. Yes, I will make a transfer. Come on. This is Jet Edge. Yes. My manager will take care of it. Uh, yes. Uh, come in. Oh, it's alright, we'll talk some other time. Yes. Dad, why are you making me scared of marriage? Now what the hell are you talking about? Why are you being callous to your wife? How dare you? How dare you use the word callous on your father? Now get out of my room. Get out! Dad, if Chinwe goes blind, I will make sure I render you childless. And what is the meaning of that statement? You know exactly what I am talking about, Dad. I just told that that if Chingwe goes blind, he should be ready to lose me too. Good. And what did he say? Nothing. Don't worry. We'll find a way around it, okay? 
It's fine. I already found a way. Mm. Go ahead and withdraw that money. Withdraw the money so we'll send Chinwe for the surgery. We can't fold our arms and watch her go blind. Heaven will not fall if father finds out, so withdraw it. Okay. Of course, mom. Has it got into this? Huh? Got into what? Your daughter asking you to withdraw money from my account without my consent? How? Is she not right? Is she not right? Your brother is so sick in the village without help. And you are here packing all the money you can lay your hands on. Why are you this wicked? Why? It's all right. Let's see how you will actualize that. Let's see. As a matter of fact, I'm freezing the account immediately. Let her go blind for all I care. She has a father. What is it? Go and touch the account. Let me see. Nelson. Go and touch it. Do I care for you? It's frozen. Go and collect World Cup. You want to freeze the account. When you freeze the account, my life will be frozen, okay? Go and freeze it. Because you 
There's still lights at the end of every tunnel. Yes. I know. Stop wasting your tears. Because I know that the living God you serve <laughs> shall not forsake you. I don't know why you are even a man. You have such a soft heart. You can want them. You can be I'm not even crying because of me. I'm not crying because of my eye. I have you. Again, now what our father is going through is killing me softly. The worst part is that sometimes I feel like helping him. I will not talk, I say help him. I can't even help him. And he's going through a lot. How can our old uncle threaten to send his own brother out of our own house, out of this house. How can that be possible? Jimwa, don't worry. Oh. He's alone. Nobody's supporting him. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. Okay? Hey. Once we have Melissa and her mother yes, on our side. Okay? Hmm. Mm -hmm. you know I love you, right? I know one name. And I love you too. I love you too. I can't wait for God to balance your life. All this nonsense will end. I know. Oh my God, yes, you know. I'm busy now. I'll be a man now. I'm even stronger than you. Do you guess what? I should guess what? Guess what? That you're crying. Guess, 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 guess what? You just want to change my mood. You want me to stop crying? Just guess now. I'm guess not what? crying. Guess what? Melissa is coming back. No. My trap caught three grass caught. <laughs> three? Yes, three. Let me just. <laughs> hey! Keep the leg from you. Oh, the leg? Yes. Okay, I'll keep uh, the head for The you. head? Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm coming. Don't cook everything at once, so. Okay. Hey. Ali, there is something. This is the only thing that makes me happy. God bless my brother for lighting my day. And God bless Melissa and the mother for this keyboard. Best gift ever. Hey, hey, Melissa, God, you bless you. Ah, hey, hey. you are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. May you be the Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. You are the covenant keeping God. I know there is no one like you. May you be the Alpha and Omega. Father, there is no one like you. Okwagichi nekenkiwe. Onyo kuya bu ena amben Okwaru kwa la hundi mwanya Eze mo Eze mo Eze niwe Eze You are the covenant keeping God 
Besides you, there is no other God. Alpha and Omega man. Hey! On your binary way. 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 You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, there is no one like you. You are the Alpha and Omega. Where are you going? I was on my way to your house. To do what? Hi. What happened? We agreed to meet at your house by 6 p.m. And it is almost time. Oh. Has Nelson come? I've not seen him. He has not come? I've not seen him. Why? You want to tell me that Nelson has not come? And he assured me that he must be here. Not only that he must be there, that he will sleep over if the meeting leaves tonight. Ah, uh, well, we need to go and wait for him. Who knows, the hold up on our roads might hold him. Yes, terrible hold ups on our road every day. Mm. Okay. Can I, can I? Let us go back and wait for him. He must surely come. Come. <laughs> you today with the spirit of our forefathers. Is it? Amen. The gods of our land that gave you this melodious voice will not put you to shame. Is it? The evil ones that wants you to go blind will never succeed. Is it? I tell you with this voice, you go for international purpose. Is it? 
And um, don't worry. I'll put a helping hand for this operation. Hey. No matter how little hey. it is. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, my, my only... My only challenge and problem right now is not even my sight, it's for my father to be fine. Be and fine. I, I don't want him to die of um, blood pressure. He already developed a very high one at that, all because of his younger brother. Uh, uh, Naibiko, let's maintain every single truth that we know. Please. I'm still wondering how a younger brother will just wake up one night uh, and become the first son. Mbana. Yeah? Uh, well, uh, my daughter, this matter is for the elders. Mm. Mm? Mm. In as much as we know that you don't want anything to happen to your father, uh, we know the truth. And the truth can liberate us. Amen. You are right. Uh, but uh, since we are still waiting for Nelson, let Chimwe sing for us a little mm. so our spirit can be lifted. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a spirit? More. Otherwise, those widows from Umogama have taken. Okoro, you had me made a contribution for her eye surgery, and you couldn't. <laughs> Only for her to sing for you because you are the Igwe or no who of this land. Okay, You have started to insult me before this girl. Don't allow me to deal with you in this village. I swear, if not for one thing, just one secret thing, I would have said something. Yeah, okay. In our bus speed. No why yo me whoop ya ganya now. In a poara. Okay. Bora Ovanka. Hey, get that iska. You are talking to me. Then chicken. Then bugash. Then bora okay, then chicken ya kaba. If you tell why. Shut up! Shut up! Then bora over call. It's only for again now. Oh shame. Una ga habe. Oh shame. Okoro, okoro, okoro ma bia, okaneze, o ma bia. Odigo nye gaba tsaya. Odigo nye gaba tsaya. Mwabugi onye onke doro. Odigo nye gaba tsaya. Odigo nye gaba tsaya. Onwe go nye gaba tsaya. Uh, 
Hello, baby. <laughs> I think we'll have a rainfall tonight. Please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't get to talk to you all the while I was in the village. Oh, fine, you have every right to be angry. I'm sorry, please. Well, that's okay. I'm just concerned about the direction our relationship is going. Okay, fine. Let me make it up to you. How about lunch tomorrow? How about you come home and prepare something? It's been a while you spent time here. Um, okay. But babes, you know we can kill two beds with one stone. I mean, we'll go to lunch. After lunch, we'll go over to your place and then we get to be together. Hmm? What do you think? That sounds delightful. <sighs> ah, thanks, babes. Thanks for forgiving me. Ah, babes, I have to go now. I'm really, really tired. I came in this evening. Let me rest. Okay, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. I love you. Sweet trips. words with action. Bay. What is it? Um, I'm sorry for the silence. Um, I was just thinking about everything going on in my family and the fact that there is not much I can do about it. But you can tell me about it. What is it? It's my father and his brother. So what is it about your father and his brother that cannot be sorted out? It's something my father does not want sorted out. I mean, the man is just being wicked. He's just being... But wickedness is a very strong word. You can use such words towards your father. Something must have led the man to do whatever he did that made you call him wicked. Something that your wife and children cannot intervene. Uh, you know, like I said, baby, it all depends. You know, people can actually push you to do something you don't want to do. These things happen. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, you've not answered my question. Did you ask me any question? I can't remember. Tell me, what, did, what is it? I asked, what is it that your brother will do? That your wife and your children cannot intervene? Like I said, it depends. You know, not everything would, would you allow your wife or someone else to intervene. There are things that are trashed out personally, you know. These things happen. You know, one can actually push you to the wall or make you do things that you never imagined that you could do, you know. Uchi. Yes, babe. Are you this wicked? No, are you beginning to show me who you really are? What have I said? I just... I'm trying to explain trying to you. Trying to explain what? 
No, let me ask you a question. If we get married tomorrow mm. and you have a problem with your brother, so I cannot intervene. Maybe not everything I would want you to intervene. There are things that you could just stay aside and let me trash it out with my brother. It doesn't mean that we can... I see. Babe, babe, look, eh? Um, babe. Babe, babe. Hold on, let me... this did i wrong this girl in any way did i do anything by saying my mind that means a lot is really happening in her family melissa melissa walked out of me well let's see how it goes What happened to your phone? I've been trying to call you. Listen, Steve, you have to come to the house now. Right now is an emergency. I need you to come back right now. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, and you? You're just coming back from the stream? Yes. Let me help you. No, don't worry, Obin, don't worry, yeah? I can carry it. Too heavy, let me help you take it home. No, I'm okay. Yeah? Yes, I'm okay, don't worry. Sure? Very sure. Okay, no problem. I'll see you later in the day, okay? Mm. Yes. You come? I'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Yes. Come on. <laughs> I will come, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself, but don't go on your own. All right. Uh -huh. Did anything happen in this house today? No, nothing happened. Oh. 
Are you sure you have not left this house? I do. What did happen? I did hear something. Okay. Let me see your gun. You were showing her how strong you are. That was a very big mistake. Women don't like such. All she wanted is for you to understand that what the father is doing to his own very brother is not right. But what did you do? You ended up supporting the father. Marco for that thing, man. Melissa Bogwanje. We were still talking. I did not conclude. She didn't listen to me. She just stood up and embarrassed me. You knew full well that I miss her. She was supposed to come with me after lunch. That's it. She just got angry and left. Then why did you try holding her back? Of course, Steven. You talk as if you don't know me. I held her. She pulled out and left. <sighs> um, Uche, you, you just have to start all over again. Yeah, sure. Send her a message. Or better still, call her. You know, bring her closer. To know what the father is dragging with the brother. Then you discuss with her. So you can know how to how to help. Instead of here arguing that you, you're not going uh, to Steve, it's very obvious that you've not been listening to me. What did I do? Did I conclude? We were still talking. She embarrassed me, left me in public. You need to know how humiliating that was. If there's anyone to apologize here, it should be Melissa, not me. Okay. I am definitely not calling her. Okay. If you continue like this, you end up losing her. Have you seen your father today? No. Is he not around? No, he was not in the room when I woke up. Have you checked everywhere? He's not anywhere in this house. But let me find out from Ago. Morning. Did you see my husband today? 
or guard or come out. What time? They come out early, Mama. What? Early, Mama. I would agree to me, no answer me. Oh, okay, thank you. You can go back. for pleasantries. I'm here to tell you that I'm giving you one week. One week for you and your family members to pack out of this house. Seven days is what I'm giving you. Uh, uncle. <coughs> uncle, please have mercy on us. Please, Uncle. Uncle, look at my condition. Uncle, there is no way for us to go to. And you know, Uncle, we are the same blood. Yeah. Whatever it is my father has done to you, Uncle, please forgive him for my sake, please, Uncle. Uncle, please. Will you just keep quiet? Which condition are you talking about? Are you the only bad woman in this world? Huh? Which condition are you talking about? Now, let me warn you. If you like her, please from not it tomorrow. Go, tell your father. Let him go and give you his own piece of land so I can build for him. No. Certainly not this house. Nelson. No. No, what have we done to you? Where have we wronged you? Please have mercy. Please. Uncle, please forgive us. Onduka, are you the one asking me that stupid question? You're asking me what wrong you've done to me. It's all right. Let me come back here and still see you here. Uncle, Seven days. Uncle, it does. Uncle, please come back, Uncle. Where are we going to now?
Hello, Uchi. Yes, I don't want to talk to you or see you until you apologize for the other day. Apologize to you for what? At least tell me why I should apologize. You know, I hate men who have a little bit of my father in them and behaves like him. I don't like them. No, 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 no. I do not like you comparing me to your father. Your father is who he is and I am who I am. Maybe he's not a man that can absorb a woman pushing him to the wall. You pushed me to the wall. I see. Are you this difficult? Well, Uche, since you don't want to apologize, have a good day. Don't wait. Come on, babe, wait. Don't, don't, don't drop the call. It's not just apologizing, but the apology has to come from the deepest part of my heart. Huh? I, I'm all right. How about I look at you in the face and say I'm sorry? Oh, look at your those beautiful eyes and just say I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Um, um I'll see you tomorrow. Um, babes, I'm sorry for working out on you the other day. It's alright, baby. I should be the one tendering all the apologies. I'm sorry. You're forgiven. <laughs> okay. Um, later. Bye. Bye. Ikenna, thinking we not solve anything. Now. What do we do? This whole thing is just getting out of hand. What do we do? Chimwe, what have we done to this man? Chimwe, can I marry this man? How can he seize all the land and turn around to claim this house? Chimwe, this man is pushing me on. Calm down. Uh, okay, just call Melissa. Call Melissa first. She knows how to talk to him. He's her father. The worst thing he can do is to take me to jail. Mama, dear. Yes! Can I send my brother to jail? Yes! That's the worst thing he can do. In our choir. Uh. <laughs> because how far? What? You mean my father came to the village this morning and gave you people one week ultimatum to vacate the house? This... Hold on, hold on, hold on, cause hold on. When did this happen? This morning. Okay, okay. calm down, calm down. Calm, I'll call you back. I will call you back immediately, please. Yes. What? I just got on the phone with Ikenna. He said dad came to the village and gave them one week ultimatum to leave the house. What? It sounds unbelievable, right? But this is what dad is capable of. What is wrong with him? Mommy, what is this? Why is he harassing this family like this? In fact, I'm going to that village. I'm going to the village no, no, today. No, 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 no. Just calm down. Let oh. him come back first. Okay? Mom, this thing that he's doing is not good. It's really not good. Why, 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 why this wickedness? Eh? Mommy, talk to your husband. Talk to your husband. Relax. Let him come back first. Yes, because he can calm down, calm down. I, I just spoke to my mom. I put her to her. And once my dad comes back, she will talk to him. Yes, please. 
please just calm everybody down. There is nothing to panic about. He can. Yes. Okay. No, I'll call you once she talks to him. Okay. Okay, please. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Yes. Later, I'll call you. I'll keep you updated. Bye bye. You are welcome. Yes. It seems you came to see your brother. My brother? Yes. Do I have a brother? What is the meaning of that? You heard me right. Did I put water in my mouth when I was asking you the question? Is that why you insulted your kinsmen and didn't honor our invitation the other day? What nonsense invitation are you talking about? Yes! I asked Undika to pack out of that house. I built that house with my hard earned money for my mother. Uh -huh. And now my mother is late and buried. Good. So what is he still doing there? He should pack out. So you called invitation of your kinsmen a nonsense? That is exactly what it is. Yes! <laughs> I know Unduka gathered all of you to speak on his behalf. But it will not work. If he does not pack out of that house, I am going to bring down the house. And none of you can dare me. I'm Ach telling you. Achiang, since uh, you don't have a brother. Take anything from you. This particular one will take everything from me. I'm not telling her anything. Uche, we do not carry our pride and ego to the grave. When we die, our pride and ego is rubbish. Listen, let me tell you. When we're in love, we should learn how to do away with hurtful war. Uche, bring your gear closer. Ask her those attributes of her father that she's talking about and know the areas you can come in. Listen, let me tell you. Learn how to say sorry, even to a little boy or girl. Because saying sorry is the only thing that can melt a wounded heart. I never knew you were such a talented lecturer. Give your lectures to those who need it. I don't. You cannot leave me alone. Leave me alone. You cannot be loving me. An ordinary three thousand naira you cannot give to me. How? Ah, what is it now? Every time I love you, I love you, I love. You. Is it love I eat? No, tell me. Is it love I'm going to eat? What's that? I told you to leave me alone. Let me look for somebody else that can take care of me. But you will not listen. Eh? Every time I love you, I love you. We have been friends since, since secondary school. Up to now. You even went to do one boy. Came back empty-handed. Anytime I ask you for money, you, you tell me stories. I love you, I love you, I love you. Babe. Babe, but you know everything. You know everything now. See, don't worry. Very soon, just very soon, everything will be all right, okay? Yes. Everything will be all right, as in when? No, tell me the day and the time so that I'll wait for that day to come. When will everything be all right? What are you saying? It's not like you have something doing. There's no hope. When it comes to you, there's no hope at all. Oh, you're, you're expecting God to just throw manna from heaven. Is that possible? Eh? Your uncle has turned his back on you and is your family only hope. Where do you expect to get money from? Eh? The next thing now you you, you start driving keke or or or, or kada or even farm work. I I you you 
telling me you love me. Please, I reject it. I can never jump from poverty to poverty. Chioma. Hmm? Chioma. Hmm? You are surprising me. Where is all these thoughts coming from? Ikenna. Ikenna. When you claim you love a woman and you cannot provide her needs, her wants, that is where all this is coming from. What do you expect me to do? Do you expect I should, I should clap for you or I should dance for you? Is that what you want? No, let me just jump and hug you. No, that is what you want now. I think when you finish secondary school, I would have advised you, you, you join this internet voice. They are really making it. The, the other day at Oba, you saw the way they were just throw, throwing money up and down. Eh? That is the type of men I want. Don't look at me, oh. Don't just look at me like that. This is not the trauma that I know. The Lord has come for me. Yes, because I need money. I need 3,000 naira. No, 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 no. Please, I do not have time to, to, to waste with men that tell story. Okay, um, Joma, let me be honest mm -hmm. to you now. Mm. I don't have men. I am very broke. And what we are doing now is to save for my sister's eye operation. You know if I have no give you like I used to do before. Hmm? And stop talking all this rubbish. Hmm? You can now. Hmm? Me, Chioma, is talking rubbish. No, because I'm asking my boyfriend for 3,000 naira, I am now talking rubbish. Okay, no problem. Don't, 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 don't even touch me. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. By the time you see me with another man, hmm? and you cough, I will show you the other side of me. Me, I'm talking rubbish. You will not go and liberate that you're stinking poor family out of poverty. Especially that your sister that is about going blind. Nonsense. Yeah, Lonzo. Yeah, good morning. Please, uh, can you come to Fumon Avenue? My car just stopped me there. Yeah, I don't know what actually happened. The thing was giving me sign this morning. Only for me to get here, the thing stopped. Yeah, I think it's an electrical fault. Please come or better still send one of your boys. Yeah. At Fumon uh, Avenue. Okay, please, I'm waiting. What kind of problem is this, huh?
Hi. My brothers. I don't have money. And I don't want to quarrel with my brother. All I want is peace between us. Yes. You want peace. But that should not mean that you cannot stand on your right. So, he can come here now and chase you out of this house. Don't get me angry. Peace indeed. But should I go and fight him? No. You won't do that. And he will never chase you out from this house. He is your brother. Yes. He built this house on your inheritance. Yes, that's it. And this time around, we will invite him again. If he doesn't come, well, the whole community will come into this matter. Yes. I know, my brother. They won't honor the invitation. Then we draw the line and show him the face of the vampire. I am done talking about this. But, Udoka, you should be a man. Huh? Okay. You can't forget it. You have to be a man. Fight for your rights. You are the elder brother. Imagine your mother. Ndoka, do you see anger on Okafor's face? Ndoka, umama na gama. Anu abu azo. Everything shall be well. Oh, and you see, can be happy. My dear, no hope. He gave me no money. Why are you laughing? What's the meaning of that? Choma, everything is funny. You are funny. And that your boyfriend is also funny. Huh. I don't understand what you meant by that. <laughs> what I mean is that you should leave that poor boy and look for somebody that can take care of you. A boyfriend that cannot afford common 3,000 naira for his girlfriend. Is that one a boyfriend? Choma, open your eyes. Open your eyes very well. It cannot not be material. Let him settle his father and his sister first. And come, let me tell you. Let me tell you for real. You need to start looking beyond all these local village boys. I've already told him. I've told him that if there's no money, there's no love, and there's no relationship. Simple and short. That is what I expect from you. Look, there are guys out there that are willing to take care of you, change your life. You're here wasting your time with that poor Ikena. The fact that both of you were, were, were friends in secondary school does not mean he's going to marry you tomorrow. Follow who no road, Biko. Every time Ikena, Ikena, somebody will not hear a word. Ikena, love, love, love. You're here doing love. You're not going to look for money. Who used my ATM card to withdraw money from my account? Melissa. Dad. You are the only one who knows my pain and who has access to where I kept the card. Sorry. Um... When was this money withdrawn? Well, I don't know. But I received an alert today. 
Or are you saying that the cat suddenly developed wings, flew to the bank, I will do the money? Daddy, I don't know. Where is my card? Daddy, I don't know. I might know your pin, but I don't have your card. You know there are a lot of scammers now, and maybe you misplaced the card. I'll suggest you call your bank and block the card before they use it. I, I don't know where it is. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, Dad, I wanted to talk to you about something. Is it true you traveled to the village to harass Uncle Duka again? You have not answered my question. Daddy, is it true? But that, that's the height of wickedness. How can you be doing this all the time, harassing the poor man? What did you say? What did you say? How dare you? That's it. How dare you? How many times have I warned you to mind your language in this house? I'm talking about my money and my car that you took. And you're talking rubbish? Daddy, you slapped. And I will slap you again. Now, if I don't get my 300,000 that was withdrawn from my account by tomorrow morning, I will make life miserable for whoever took my money. Is that understood? Sound fine at all. Is everything alright? I we had issues with my dad. Wait a minute. Did he touch you? Babes, you know, um can we talk tomorrow? I'm not in the right frame of mind now. Uh, Melissa, please, please, please. Don't drop the call. Please. Come on, baby, what is it? What you. Alright, why are you crying? Can you. Can. Can you stop? Stop. You know what? I think you should just come home first thing tomorrow. Wait, I, I don't think I can make it. My. My cousin's sister, she's going blind. And my father is Babe. 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 Oh, stop, 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 stop. Can you. You know I hate to stop now. Stop, stop crying. Stop, stop. Nothing will happen to your cousin. She will not go. Oh. Babe, babe. Please. Stop crying. Your sister will not go blind. Oh, it's all right. So it's okay. All right, do me one favor. Try and sleep. All right. Okay, babes. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Where is your daughter? 
She's not there. I will not take anything for granted in this house. Thank God I have a son that is cooling abroad. And so I'm not a father to a lone child. Now, you call your daughter, tell her to bring my money and my ATM card. If not, I will kill her and nothing will happen. Ugochuku, call your sister to order now. If not, I will do something that everyone will regret. Don't ask me questions. Just call her. Hey, Nancy, nah. Huh? Why did you have to disturb a boy who is in school and probably in class now? Must you relate everything to him? Oh, yes. I have to relate everything to him because he's my son and my heir. Mm -hmm. And I have the right to tell him everything he needs to know. Seen you emotional like this. I thought it was just the issue you had with your father. It is for more. You know, I didn't I didn't know my father had issues with his brother. Not until my grandmother's burial. Though sometimes in the past when we go home traveling for Christmas or for an event. Mm -hmm. He would not let us pass the night in our grandmother's house because my uncle was there. I didn't know. Though I remember one time my uncle came to our house and my father didn't let him come in. And he didn't even see him. That was when I started suspecting. So, um, you're not aware of your father's issue with his brother? I don't know what the issue is. I know I asked my uncle and he said he doesn't know either. I tried asking my father and he shouted at me. My cousins are, are lovely. They are adorable and I don't have any issue with them. <sighs> Chinwe, who is more like, a, like an only sister to me, she's gradually going blind. She has this high problem that has been lingering for long and nobody's doing anything about it. And then Ikena, the only brother she has, served someone for seven years. Towards the time of his settlement, the man accused him of stealing. And I know Ikena very well, he did not do it. He just didn't want to settle the poor guy. Now Chinwa is in this situation and my father is not helping her. And the poor girl is going blind gradually every day. So helpless, I don't know what to do. Um, you have all this problem with your father, yet 
you want to make sure your sister sees it again. So, what exactly is wrong with your sister? The doctor said it's cataract. And if not operated on, she will go blind completely. Your sister will not go blind. She's too young. She's too young to go through all this. She didn't do anything. I can't just sit back and watch her go blind. I can't. It's okay. It's okay. My mother and I, we've, we've tried to come up with, with some money in any way we can. But my father froze our accounts. He froze my personal account and froze my mom's joint account with him. So there was no way for us to come up with any money at all from anywhere. I... I didn't have any option but... But to steal his ATM, ATM card. Babes, I had to... I had to, I can't just fold my hands and watch my cousin go blind when, when there is money sitting in my father's account doing nothing. I can't just sit back and watch the poor girl's life vanish in front of her. I had to do something. I had to steal his money. It's all right. You have to put yourself together. Your sister will never go blind. Babes, I'm trying, but I can't. It's all right. I can't. You already know I hate to see you like this. How much would the operation cost? The last time she went to see the optician, he said 300,000 naira for a start. He didn't actually give us the specific amount. It's all right. He's so nice. Okay. He's such a wonderful person. Hmm? She's still young. Imagine me going blind. That's what it looks Shh. like. That's enough. What beats my imagination is the kind of emotion you show towards your sister. I like the gesture. I like the fact that you will stop at nothing until she receives her sight. We are in this together. I promise you, I'll do anything. I'll do everything possible to make your sister see again. Thanks, babes. I wish you no chiwendos. I wish you know. I wish you've met her. You would know why I feel this way. She's such a wonderful person. She's so full of life for, for her life to go dark all of a sudden. She's an angel. So I'm not just doing this because she's my sister. I'm doing this because she's a wonderful person. Miss, I don't know what to do. I really don't know. I've been... Great. 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 Good. Not everyone would do what you're doing now. Not everyone has this kind of heart that you have. So you relax. And then you stop crying. Can the most beautiful woman in this world give me a wink or a smile? Please stop. Hey, I'm just trying to cheer you up. Please stop. Just... All right. Right. Hmm? Stop, stop, stop. It's okay. Put yourself together. Hmm? You know what you do now? You stay here. You stop crying. I'll quickly go upstairs, freshen up, and then we would head to the village together. Yes. 
We are going to the village together. I'll just call Steven up and then we all will go. We'll provide money for the operation. Your sister Chiwendu will see again. She is also my sister. Baby. Yes. Are you for real? I mean every last word. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Stop. Do you want me to stop crying? Stop. 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 Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate this. I do. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I will do anything for you. Anything. As long as it makes you happy. Uchina. Uchina, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. God bless you. It's all right. I just want you to be happy. So you were here and you give me five minutes. Thank you. All right, back. Okay. Yo, Steve. What's up? Oh, uh, my. Uh, yeah. Who got you? Ugo Chuku, it's okay, it's okay. I've heard you. Yes. I know you believe anything he says because he's your father and you trust him, right? Yes, of course, that's what you always do. But you should all... Ugo Chuku, you should remember that Ikenna is the first son of his father, just like his own father. Why don't you call your father and tell him that what he is doing is bad? Ugochuku, please, please. Um, um, enough of the nonsense, please. Just, it, it's okay. Believe whatever you like, but tell your father that what he is doing is wrong. Good afternoon, sir. Where's your gun? You did it, sir. Where is Uche? Um, he's in his room. Um, what is the huge problem Uche briefed me on the phone? Are you good? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Well, it's not that huge. But don't worry, when you see him, he will brief you. Okay. You say he's in his room? Yes. Okay, let me see him. Oh. 
Listen. Mm -hmm. All right. Everything will be fine, okay? Don't worry, sir. Thank you, Steve. Of course, everything Thank will you, be Steve. fine. Thank you, Steve. Excuse <laughs> me, please. Waves, <laughs> uh -huh. go on. Thank you. Waves. Oh, let me just say the way he said it. Everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> really, come on. You oh. always find a way to make me laugh. Of course, I'm supposed to be your entertainer. Shall <laughs> <Huh? laughs> we? Oh, sorry. Ah. You first. Okay. Thank you. Hey, bitch, sorry, Jackie. Get you. I'm wishing I'm going to fool so you walk in. I'm going to go fool so you walk in. Debi <laughs> That Chiwe should get ready for her operation or what? What is there not to understand? Who is going to pay for the operation? Uh, 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 uh. Daddy, 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 please. Um, 
Whatever the problem is, I do not want you to worry yourself. Cataract, glycoma, whatever it is will be solved. Hey, Melissa. Mm -hmm. You mean I should prepare for an eye operation? Yes, sister. In fact, let's go in and get ready. We need to leave soon. Okay, now you know the road to our oh, yes, first yeah. place, okay? It's not fun. It's not fun. Um, we're not going there. Huh? We're not going there. I have someone who specializes in it. So let's get going to the city. Melissa will accompany her. Okay. To the city? Yeah. Steve, hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Anyone know? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> see, 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 please wait. Let, let's worship. Let's see this song. Let's see this song. All my life, what I've been asking, you tell me here. Hey, please, just please don't mind me. Oh. Please sing with me. It's a very simple song. What I've asked God for years, He just gave me an answer. Please. Gele, chine, ke, wongen da be. Do you know it? Gele, please sing. Chine, ke, wongen da be. Me kono, gele, chine, ke, na, abu ya kamu da be. Again, uh, um, like I said, the one on white is my friend. Um, oh, Guinea. <laughs> mm. He's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the other one is his friend. Um, I told them about Chingwe's condition and they decided to help. Chineke <laughs> Dalong. See what a sister is doing for her own sister. <laughs> Nem, thank yeah. you very much. Okay? It's okay, my God will bless you. It's not. What me. would we have done without you? You cannot stop. Thank you very much. I appreciate okay. it. My See, God. my my prayer is that the operation goes well. Oh yes. That Chimu regains her sight completely, and when that is sorted out, then I need you to be a man. When next he comes, tell him you are the man of this house. 
your father is his brother, but you are the first son of your father, and you are not your father, that he should leave the house for you and not your father. Do you understand? Yoya, tell him to leave the house for you, not for your father. He should do it for the sake of you, the children, and not your father. Hmm? It's over, yeah. I'm sure he would listen. Plead with him. Yoya, yo. Hmm? Thank you very much, yeah? You're welcome. Oh, shit. No Only one now. <laughs> <laughs> he can, uh... Thank you very much, yeah? No God worry. bless you. Eh? It's okay. Thank Let's go and check uh, <laughs> Chima if she's okay. Right. Right. Thank you. Papa! <laughs> And Fiam, my daughter has gone to do the operation that has been giving me sleepless night. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Papa, that's how God does his whole magic. Mm -hmm. Boy, Papa, eh? mm. Melissa is truly a sister. Yes. 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 She has the heart of her mother. Oh, yes. When my wife died, it was Victoria who gave me money for her burial. She also brought the rice, brought the goat, despite the fact that Nelson told them not to do anything for me. You can let me sound this note of warning in case I die tomorrow. Let nothing bring any quarrel between you and Victoria. She is a good woman. Hmm? No problem, Papa. <clears throat> I've heard you. Thank um, you very much. Huh? Please go and get my walking stick. Uh, Let me go and see Matthew Kuro, my friend. My very good friend, so that I will share this good news with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Papa, be careful. Oh. You know all these village people. Be very careful. Okay. Eh? Okay. Very careful. What about us on Eh? I have heard you. Okay, thank you, sir. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. hmm.
Has my daughter come to this house today? No, sir. She never come. Good. Whenever she comes, don't open that gate until you get my consent. Okay? Sir? You're yeah, 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 very stupid. You get out of Idiot. Come here. Come here. Here, here, here. Stand here. What did I say? You say if you're picking comic, I love it. You are very stupid. Idiot. If you're picking somewhere, I love it. Is that what I told you? Did I say you should lock it? I said if she comes, don't open that gate for her until you seek my consent. Yes, sir. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Get out. Get out. No sense. Welcome. Now, listen to me carefully, woman. I can assure you that the gang up with your daughter against me will not work. It will fail. That I can promise you. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, in that case, I have to get home because I didn't plan this movement. I need to get some clothes. Uh, but I will be here first thing in the morning. Meanwhile, take your sister to the guest room. She needs to shower mm -hmm. and rest. Chile. <laughs> your sister will take you. Chile's going inside, eh? Mm -hmm. And just in case you want to minister, you can as well invite us. Uche. <laughs> uh, that, that would be fine. <laughs> Uche, I'll, I'll be too. glad to. No, but I didn't come with my keyboard though. At least you I came didn't... with you. Yes. <laughs> 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 Both. Okay, sister, First of all, Steve, I want to thank you. But honestly, I do not know that Melissa has such a good heart. A golden heart. She's really a nice person and the act is beginning to make me fall. Uh-huh. Or should I say I'm falling already? <laughs> <laughs> Which or whatever. All she wants is to be sure that her sister is satisfied. Such a golden heart. Her father freezed her account, disconnected the mother from the family's account. All these are just so they do not help the poor girl. The question here is why? Brother fighting brother. And guess what? The children don't even want to know. Brothers at war. Uche is everywhere. I have to run along so I can meet up in the morning. Um, that's all right. Ah, uh -huh. why, why don't you wait so that you can drop Melissa off? Oh, oh that's okay. It's all right. Steve, why are brothers 
fighting against themselves. <laughs> Come on, Melissa, hurry up. Steven has been waiting to drop you off. Um, not yet. I have to make food for Chima. She has not eaten. I have to do something. Maybe probably noodles. Noodles? No, is that not going to waste time? But what do I do? She has to eat. Um, all right. Can my boy get her food instead so that you don't keep the waiting? Really? Yes. Oh. Thanks, babes. Because really, I need to get home now. I know my mom will be worried. Mom, 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 mom. That's all we hear. You. <laughs> ah, good. Hello, mom. She's just so addicted. <laughs> I was just talking about you. Yes. No, when I come back, I'll tell you all about it. No, soon, soon. I'm coming back now. Like in the next time, 30 minutes, you see me. Okay. Okay, mom. Bye. Love you. Ah, Steve. I'm ready. Right. Mom, mom, mom. That's all we're here. <laughs> Babes, can you just talk? <laughs> I'm beginning to sound jealous, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous of my mom? <laughs> mm. oh. Babes. Mm. Mm. Take care of me, okay? One more, baby. Oh, stop. Baby. Come on, stop. <laughs> All right, I'll miss you. Miss you too. So just call me as soon as you get home. I will. Take care of you, okay? All right, bro. See you tomorrow. Mom. Easy. Yeah, Understand who you're taking home. It's all right. <laughs> uh, you know, I right? drive carefully. Ah, uh, who be that now? You won't break my door. Ah. Uh Ati, -uh. welcome. Are you okay? Which are you supposed to do first? My friend, open the gate. Ati? Okay, so man, I know I'll let you enter. Are you mad? No, 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 no. Are you standing on my bed? My friend, get out! I'll get you first. Now, God, fuck up. Ago. Ago, if I slap you, you will sit on that. Get out of my way, you're talking rubbish. What, what's the meaning of this nonsense? Eh? I beg you, you go call her. This guy is serious, so. Hold on. Hello, Mom. No, I'm at the gate, I'm back, but I don't know what is happening here. Ago has refused to open the door for me. He said that gave him instruction not to open the gate for me. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting. daughter out. Are you okay? Oh, Will you shut up? Don't you ever try that again. Fool. If you try it again, I'll sack you. Nonsense. Let's go. To where? Nonsense. To where? Where is the money you took from my account? Dad, I have told you. I have said it before. I don't know anything about your money. I did not take it. You did not take my money? And your picture is taken by the ATM machine and you're here denying. You're screaming. Yes, let me scream. Please, no. the neighbors are... Where is my car? Daddy, please, just, just go and get a new car and change your pin because I'm not with it. And as for the bank, we'll go there. Let's find out how they have my picture. Because Let's I don't talk. know what you're talking about. Can we go inside money? and trash this thing out? We're disturbing the neighbors. Go in where? My house? No, go where? 
Now let me warn you. I don't want to ever see you close to my brother's children again. Huh? Yes. I was only informed that you were dead today. I will not spare you next time. Is that understood? No, that is not clear. Sh 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 Mommy, leave me alone. Sh it is not clear. How can you stop me from, from seeing my cousins? How can you stop me from communicating with my cousins? That if you like threaten me from now till to tomorrow, it will not stop anything. It's okay. See, Dad, I appreciate the fact that you've trained me. You gave birth to me. You trained me in school. You made, you've, you, you've taken care of me all my life. But this time around, you cannot control my life and who I communicate with. You can see, 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 see mommy's card that I use or freeze my account, but that will not stop anything. Mom, I'm inside. Because are you aware that you are still living under my roof? Did you see her? Man, you better talk to her, and I will remove her teeth. Can we just go out inside and trash this out? You're disturbing everybody. Excuse me. I know what to do. And you, idiot, what did I tell you? Huh? What did I tell you? 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 Okay, okay. What, what did I tell you? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. It's all right. Hello, babes. Hello, baby. You home? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Did your boy later get the food for my sister? Of course. Ah, babes, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. I really appreciate Baby, thank you for what? It's my responsibility to keep an eye on your sister, to take care of her. Huh? So, um, am I seeing you very early tomorrow? I hope you've discussed it with your mother. Yes, I did, and she understands. You know my mom doesn't have any problem. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams. Dream of me. Hmm? I love you. I'm sorry that I could not give you that money the last time. I had a lot on my head. But please, um, manage this 1,000 naira. I will do more when I have, please. Please. Hmm. Okay, now. So because you had a lot on your head, that is why you could not give your girlfriend ordinary 3,000 naira. Oh, Chomai, no. But remember, I told you that I'm broke. But soon, things will be fine. Okay? Chomai, you have suffered. So you cannot call me out here to give me just 1,000 naira and to preach to me that things will be fine. Oh, Chomai, stop this and understand me. What is all this? You're shouting. Stop. You are shouting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. Fine. I've had you. I was busy inside before you called me. You see this money, it cannot buy me a good bra. Not to talk of taking good care of myself. Relationship works with money. When there is no money, there is no relationship. Choma. Choma, why are you angry? <laughs> Remember, when things was fine, I used to do the ones I can do. Ah, 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 ah. This is not what I want to hear. I don't want you to be bugging in past glory. Don't even try it with me. When things are fine, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to suffer and die because Ikena doesn't have money anymore? Please, like I said, I was doing something inside before you disturbed me. Choma. Choma.
I think we should visit Nelson in the city, since he said that he is not coming back anytime soon. That's a good point. I think we should exercise caution. All we know is Nelson is not treating his brother well. But his reasons, we don't know. Uh, we are saying the same thing. He needs to tell us why. Even if he cannot do that, he needs to recite his decision of ejecting his brother and his family. He built the house with his money, but he must note that the house sits on Ndoka's portion of family land as a first son. But he demolished the old family house after he built the new one. Why does he want Ndoka and his family to live if he evicts them? We should prevail on him to rescind that decision. Listen, we have kept quiet for so long on this matter. Let us call him to come and tell us his reason. We will call him and tell him we want to visit him in the city. Ask him why, since he has not been honoring our invitation, but finds time to come here and harass his brother? Eh? Or do we pay him on scheduled visit? No, 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 no. I disagree with that. We have to seek his consent. In fact, let me give him, let me call him. Yes. Call him. Yeah, call him. I think it's better I call him. That's right. It's ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. He's not picking. He's not picking. He's not picking. Then continue to try his number. Whenever you get him or you reach him, get back to us. Oh, it, it, that, that, that's okay. Uh, we have to do something because he has given them one week ultimately. The last time he came. Though that one has elapsed. I will continue to call from now to tomorrow. If he fails to pick the call, I will personally pay him on scheduled visits. I think that is a good idea. I don't think that is a good idea. At least we ask him why he has been ignoring our invitations. Mm. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I will see to that. Hmm? Yeah. And I will continue calling till he picks this call. If not, Tomorrow, I will personally go there and pay him that very visit. Can I even name Yes. I will be messing with you. Which, you know what? We have to celebrate for a successful surgery and thank God for his message. Of course, we really have to celebrate. Melissa will be so happy. Yeah. <laughs> but, I wonder why she hasn't called me. Maybe she's not that way. You know, the doctor called me herself and uh, told me that everything is, is fine. Poor, beautiful young woman. Oh, yes, I, I thought it was just old people who suffer from cataracts and glaucoma, but now the younger generations are the ones suffering more of it. The question is, do young people watch what they eat? You see, they eat all kinds of junk. Why wouldn't they suffer it? Young men and women suffer stroke, blood pressure, and diabetes. To be honest with you, we really, really have to watch what we eat. You know what? Go get a drink. Let's celebrate for a successful operation of your in-law. Mm -hmm. Steve, I never marry a mom. <laughs> <laughs> So just wait until then, uh, before you start calling me that name. <laughs> you surely marry her. 
Man, I'm by G. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my son. I'm here to see Chief Nelson. Okay, now you be now. Ah, I am Mazi Okafo. Major. Mm -mm. I say I'm the major. I am Mazi. I say Mazi. I'm one of Mazi Okafo. Okay. His brother. I came from the village. Okay. On okay. Eh, uh, uh, okay. You go wait for there first. Huh? Make, make I go tell him say you the final. You want me to sit on the ground and wait? No, just wait first now. Ah. Ah. Wait first. Let's see how you do. Wait. I, I go go tell him. Oh, okay, go. More see, sir. Hey. What is it? Okay. One man day forget. He say he won't come see you. Uh, what is his name? He, he say na your village people will be. He, he say name na major. Sorry, Mazi Okafo. Oh, Mazi Okafo. Yes. Let him come. Mazio Kafo. I only allowed you to cross my gate because you are one elder that I respect so much among our kindred. I don't allow people to come to my house without my consent. Is that understood? I understand. And I'm sorry about that. But uh, you have not been taking my course, our course, even other people they've been calling, you've never taken it. What is your business if I don't take my course? Was it what gave you the miserable gods to invade my privacy without my consent? Simply because you know where I sleep and where I wake up. Anyway. Tell me, what brought you here? And you better be brief about it because I have somewhere to go. It's okay. It's about the issue you have with your brother. We want you to come so that we can deliberate and settle everything. Oh. Anyway, let me save our time on this. He told you that the last time I came to the village, 
I gave him a one week ultimatum, right? He is lucky that I traveled on a business trip. And now that I am back, my ultimatum still stands. He must move from that house by the end of that ultimatum. Else, anyway, any other thing? I came to urge you to rescind that decision. Why? I, I built that house for my mother. I know. But you have to remember that you demolish the old house and build on that particular land. As it is, as I'm talking to you now, he lives in the Obi and he owns that land. Was that what you old man concluded? I built that house in the same land that my father built his heart. I only allowed my brother to move into that house because of my mother. And now, he has to pack out. And that decision is final. Anyone who dare stand on my way, I will crush that person. Well, my brother, this is your sentiment. Won't fly in the court of public opinion. Uh, I only advise you to come home so that we settle this matter once and for all. I don't care what people say or think. The next time I will come to the village, it will be disastrous. Well, if you will insist on evicting your brother from that house, <laughs> believe me, it's going to be you against the whole community. But I will advise you to come home and hear from us first before acting on anything. Is that a threat? <laughs> you are our brother. Nobody is threatening anyone. No, nobody is threatening anyone. All we want is peace. But before I leave your house, I just hope it's not what happened between you and your brother when you were growing, of which your mother cried for and asked you to forgive. I just hope you are not still banking on that old grudge. Uh, Nduka, my brother, I came back. I just came back from the city. Mm. I went to see Nelson. He had me right. Anyway, he remains unrepentant. But don't worry. You and your family will live in this house. If he attempts anything, then it will be Chief Nelson against the community. Bam. If I'm going home now, I will put the youth leader on red alert. Mm -hmm. Though he insisted on carrying out his threats. If he comes for our invitation, fine. Mm -hmm. If not, then we will see all his threats. <sighs> Is he one them? I, I don't know how to thank you. you. Don't worry. Dahalo. Don't let it bother you. Everything will be fine. Hmm. My brother, hmm? I don't know how to thank you. Mm -mm. Don't, no, don't, don't just worry. <gasps> hmm? Don't bother yourself. Everything will be fine. <sighs> oh, Victoria. Yes. 
it's been a month now since your daughter left this house. And you have not told me anything about her. Where did she go to? Chief. So you just realized that your daughter has not been in this house, right? Is something wrong with you? You better tell me now. Tell me where my daughter is before I go crazy. Go crazy for who? For me? A moment? <laughs> You think I'm not aware? You think I'm not aware that you've been having secret conversations with her? Yes, and you tell me nothing about her. Now, all you people see about me is a wicked nursing. Nobody wants to understand me. You are conversant with the fact that I traveled abroad to seek solution to my left eye that is now permanently blind. But nobody cares. They just look at me as a wicked person. Well, I'm not shaken. Now, say. Most fathers are very close to their daughters. But your own case is so different. There is nothing Melissa does that you like. She would ask you for something and you would bluntly refuse. Now she has decided to move out of your house. And you think I care? No, you think I care whether she stays or she leaves? All I want is, since she has decided to leave my house, tell her to come and pack every single thing she has in this house. Since she has money to rent her own apartment, yes, let her leave my house. But as for Duka and his family, they must pack out of my the house I built for my mother. Yes, they must move out immediately. And that is sure it's final. God has blessed you. How is Chinwe? Oh, she's there. Give her the phone, please. Mm hmm. Chi? How are you? I thank God for his successful surgery. You will be fine. Everything will be fine, okay? Give your sister back the phone. Meme, your father is on top of the roof. When are you coming back? Okay. Good night. All right. Bye bye. That you're having a soft mind for who? We can know, of course. Kechi, listen. I remember when you were still serving his master. When my father had a prostrate operation, he was there. He supported us. Hey. Eh? If not for Ikenna, my father would have died. I just feel so bad, so guilty that I am neglecting him just because of money. Don't that fire this your mouth. It is your type that would die of poverty because you are feeling for one idiot. Are you the one that told his master not to settle him? Or are you the one holding his destiny? Look, this guy that is coming right now is a good guy and has a spirit of Kubana boys. Use your head. I understand. Just that anytime I see, I see Ikenna. My, my heart will just skip. I feel like I'm hurting him. Your mind is not doing you anything but your stupidity. You're very stupid. This Ikena guy has come to the village to stay and nothing more. 
or do you want to settle down with such a person? Because I know that is where it will end. Our advice is stay away from that guy because nothing good will come out of him. Go and mark it somewhere. But seriously, Uche, Chinwa is a beautiful young woman. You know, her condition and the issues in her family affected her so badly. I mean, you need to see the picture your girl sent to me. Hold on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, she's pretty. Yeah. She's she's indeed pretty. Um quick one. Are you planning to crop from the same family? Haba, have I done anything wrong by taking them to the clinic and making sure they stay in my sister's place? Only for your men. You're digressing. I only asked a harmless question. Are you planning to take list from the same Omona? Huh? Uh huh? <laughs> uche, uh -huh. Anyway, to answer your question, I'm not considering anything or planning anything. I'm only admiring the handwork of God. You know, I like to appreciate good things. Uh -huh. She's just as beautiful as her sister, Melissa. <laughs> So have I answered your question, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, middleman, when are they coming back? <laughs> they are coming back soon. But you have to pay me. You know I'm doing this for you and Melissa. Good. Cool. Thank you. So, can I have your account number and the next thing you hear from your phone is... Bim, bim. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, brother. Thank you. I really is. <laughs> um, I decided to honor this invitation for this meeting uh, because of the respect I have for you, my kinsman. Let me demonstrate that because, as you know. One tree cannot make a forest. That was why I honored this invitation. As you all know, I am a rich man. Not just rich, I am very wealthy. I have money. So much money that I can buy any land I want. Alright? So my problem is not money. My problem right now is this man, Unduka, who has refused to pack out of my mother's house. And he must pack out, and so shall it be. You shut up your mouth. God damn it! Where? Eh? You have insulted us enough. Who are you bragging for? That you have money is in your house. Can you tell us who your money have imparted on? Look at your brother's son who served someone for a total of seven years. Eh? And you couldn't go and meet your fellow big man and ask him why he couldn't settle your brother. And you're here bragging. Who are you? Eh? I. No, we want to ask you one question. What did Uduka do to you that you want to kill him? Tell us. Stupid. <coughs> uh, I want us to do this meeting like brothers we are. Hmm. And we all know that Uduka goes to hospital almost on daily basis. Uh, most times, his blood pressure will be so high. And I am sure that leave this house and pack out worries him a lot. Hmm. Uh, Nathan, 
we sent Okafo to your house at the city and you couldn't give him a seat. Why? Are we no longer brothers? Well, uh, <clears throat> Okafo, when you came to my house, I told you something. I said I respect you a lot. And that was why I allowed my gate man to open my gate for you. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that? I never knew you were a bloody liar. You came here to fabricate lies against me. You said I didn't give you seats to sit on. So when you came to my house, did you sit on the floor? No, tell me. Anyway, let me not waste my precious time because of a nonentity like this. On the substantive issue, the only way we can settle this matter is for Unduka here to pack out of this. I have a son who is cooling abroad. Mm -hmm. By the time he comes back, he's going to make use of this house. So there is no way he can remain in this house. And that is final. Shut up, Nessa. Huh? I said, shut up. Who are you? How much do you have? I repeat again, shut up. You said you take exception from these two people. Now, I'm not saying telling you again. Now, shut up, shut up, and shut up the, 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 the last time. Eh? We all came together and gave you your own portion of land at the other side where you built your rubbish mansion. Now, let me tell you for the last time. Come and evict Iboka from this house. Let me see. <laughs> Allows him to resist his stupidity. Okafo, mm -hmm. you have the impetus, the temerity to challenge me, Chief Nancy. You just poor church rat. And these stupid idiots ask me to shut up. Yes, shut up. Man, you swore at them. I just want to deal with all of you. I will lock you up. I will you will this house is to you. And this is not his car. He cannot even. Uh, I don't know whether this is so common. Fly. 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 This house, this is your house. Stop it. Be, Behave like sense. the man you are. Every time. It... We must, we all must have to stand for Nduka here. Nelson is wicked and heartless. We don't need such a human being amongst us. Let him come and pull this house down. He can, yes. he can, he can. Is he mad? Uh, we must take it easy. And we must know what the problem is. Or why he wants to eject his brother from this house. Ndoka, what did you do to Nelson? Because it seems he has a bitter heart. Then let him say it. Something I asked him when I went to his house the other day, but he couldn't say anything. Nelson is simply being wicked and we must be very, very careful with him. My brother and I grew up together. Apart from little issues we had, you know, growing up years. You see, I, he took all my land and I allowed him. But this issue started after the death of our mother. And uh, the cause of this sudden bitterness 
I do not know. Maro, shut up. Nduka, shut up if you don't know what to say. How many of your children did Nelson pay their school fees? Oh. When you were laid off at your place of work some years ago, before your wife died, what did your so-called brother do? Eh? Stop covering him up. Eh? If he's still bearing any grudge against you over things that happened years ago, that is his own headache. Eh, for this house, <laughs> you will leave it. Sometimes you should be a man. As a matter of fact, Mbuka, you are too quiet for my liking. Nathan is your younger brother. You have to look him eyeball to eyeball and tell him your mind. Only for your name. I don't know. Uh -uh. I'm gonna do. Exactly my point. I don't know. I think we go. Oh. Who's the thing of joy? She's not my brother. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Yes, that's it. Oh, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. I can see. You can see. Yes, I can see. Very well. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, what, what? What's what's the color of my my heart? That's navy blue. She <laughs> can see. see. <laughs> she walked in here by herself. Yes, she can see. <laughs> Um, what is going on? Is anyone celebrating his or her birthday that I am not aware of? Sweetheart, this is not any birthday celebration. This is giving thanks to God. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, so many people have gone through the same process but did not come out successful. True. But look at you. True. One take, and then you have your side back. You see, this won't stop here. We are going to celebrate every day. As a matter of fact, <laughs> on Sunday, we will be going for a dance game. Oh, 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 oh. Are you and, and I'm getting a car for the church. What? <laughs> oh my God, see? Sis, come on. Baby, come. Come on, what is it? As a matter of fact, you should be grateful to God for what He has done in your life. Huh? Okay. If not for a sister like Melissa, who refused to allow her father's hatred for my dad, myself, and brother be cloud her sense of reasoning, if not that you both understood my sister Melissa and gave up a helping hand. All would have been my faith. I've never been celebrated. Okay. Yeah, never. It's okay. You know, the death of my mother actually shut out my family. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, hey, 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 enough, enough. Okay. We actually haven't come here to cry. Please. Okay. Like, well, we're gathered here to celebrate. And I think, truthfully, Chinwa, it's not really a time to cry. Yeah. Okay. Time to give God thanks for giving you a cousin like Melissa. There are lots of men, grown-up men and women out there who do nothing but bring disgrace, hazards, commotion to their family. But here yes. you are. Oh. Melissa is doing everything possible to bring your family together again. Yeah. So, it's a time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So Melissa will say, um, she'll continue. Continue until you restore the peace. Your home. Okay. Okay. Let's celebrate. Right, you guys, please. Enough of the Melissa. Let's celebrate. Aha! Uh -huh. This is a time uh -huh. so happy. My cousin can see. Can see? <laughs> no, someone is not. 
Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> yes, I can. So, stop it. 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 I'm so happy for you. So you can see clearly now. Yes. Oh. I see very nice. Are you sure? Of course. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How many? <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> I'm happy. It isn't <laughs> Don't mind her. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Well, finally, the eye problem is over. <laughs> I actually walked in without any help. Yes. <laughs> I'm happy. Please, please help me to thank Melissa. Uh, and also want to thank you for giving birth to a daughter like you, Mom. God bless your kind heart. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know how bad my eye. I don't know if today would have been a reality without. Mom, thank you. Thank you, Melissa. For everything, Mom, I appreciate. It. Ever since my mom died, you took that position. God bless you, Mom. God bless you. It's okay. It's God bless you too. You. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Well, well, well. What are cousins for? <laughs> if not to help one another. Hmm. Well, uh, to her, you're an angel. So, Angel Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new name, Angel Melissa. <laughs> I know both of you are hungry. Yes. I don't know about her. Don't even go there. She should be. <laughs> no, she's not. Why don't you take her to your room and um, freshen up? Exactly. I'll give you something to eat now, okay? No problem. Thank you. Let's go to the room. We'll no, see you later. Come Oh. oh. Open the gate on time when I was home. I'd be one piece that time where you, you call me. You'll be one piece? You, you idiot. Come here. Come here. You are a fool. What did I say? You are a fool. It's your father that is a fool, idiot. Anyway, is my daughter back to this house? Yes, she does come. She call it one young woman like that. Look at who you are laughing like a fool. She came with a young woman. 
young woman or a young girl? No, but fine girl. She fine well, well. He be like saying her friend. Idiot. Get out. Yes. Victoria, so you allowed your daughter to come to my house after I told you that she must not come here, she should remain wherever she is and raid her house. Nelson, what, what do you want her to do? What is the problem? Your daughter has graduated from the university. She has done her youth service. You asked her to start working in your establishment, which she did. Now you have frozen her account. What do you want her to do? To just sit home and look at everybody? She has to look for a job. And that is exactly where she has gone to. Good. So has she got the job for herself now? I think you should ask her that. Is that right? I can't believe I've seen you in my eyes. I'm really so happy with you. Melissa! How dare you? How dare you? Daddy, what is it? How dare you? How dare you bring the daughter of a very wicked man into my house? And you? I need you to leave my house this minute! Oh, please. Oh, please, let me. That was why I came to your house. So let me stay in my uncle's house. Just for tonight, uncle, please. I had an eye surgery, uncle. I can see you. I can see, I can see now without the help of anybody. Please, just let me pass and I force you tomorrow morning. I will go. Uncle. And who is your uncle? What's going on? Why are you calling your uncle? What's going on? <laughs> And you, you and your daughter dare me in this house. I will show you the other side of me. You, please. If please. I come back and see you in my house again, I will kill you. It's yours. You have a Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Mom. Mom. Talk to your husband. Calm down. 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 Nelson, if you chase your brother's daughter out of your house, at this time you know that it will be very difficult for her to get transport back to the village. And something happens to her. What will you gain? Every day we keep asking God for forgiveness of our sins. We ask God for his grace, for life in abundance. Yet, we see our fellow human beings as trash. There is no award that will be given to you when you kill your brother. 
You carry your life as if it belongs to you. As if it is in your pocket. Nobody's life is owned by that person. It's only God who decides who lives and who dies. If you chase that girl out of your house, have you removed the grace of God upon her life? Never said. God has the final say. She's on her way now. Will you see her soon? Okay, thank you. Mom, really, what did she do? What was that wrong? A sister that came to her own sister's house and dad embarrassed her like that. What, what, what is all this? Why, why is that becoming a monster? Why? Mom, this is not fair. It's not fair. It's okay, my dear. Just pull yourself together. Mom, I really don't understand why my daddy is becoming so wicked. Why? It's okay. Time shall tell. Huh? It's fine. I don't like how I do like this. That was so wrong. That was so wrong. Yeah, no, no, no. But when the time is right, I'll let you know. What is it? Ogamio. Melissa's sister, she did forget you. Oh yes, Melissa already called. Bring her in, hurry. Okay. want you to be like this. Melissa already told me everything, so you're welcome here. This is your other home. No one will ask you to live here. If you need anything, do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. Once again, welcome home. Thank you. So, so you bite. 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 Thank you. Are you serious? I love you already. Don't worry. Just say it. I can't mention. I don't know. Uh, you know what, babe? So, uh, see, see, don't, don't worry. What? What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. What's that? I'm fine. I, I... What? I'm okay. I'm here. Okay. Yes. You don't need to worry. You don't need to panic. I'm here. Yeah. Is there any problem? No, there's no problem. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Yes, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, calm, calm. I'm okay. Calm. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh. Don't 
Where are you coming from? Baba, I went to see someone. We don't know the condition of your sister since your phone got spoiled. You should have called Melissa so that we know whether the operation was successful or not. Well, Papa, I told you that she has done the operation. Why, Ina Why are you still asking me again? Hey, yeah? So that we know whether they are back. I'm not one next step to take. Papa, they must have been back by now. But I will go and check the phone repairer to know if he can do something like he promised. Very important. Kaimale mm -hmm. Bai uh, meanwhile, let me see a deeper. Oh? Ah, Papa, this one you're putting on my clothes. Uh, what happened now? Eh? <laughs> Sorry, so Papa, I'm I like it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Shama, what is the matter? Tikenna. Tikenna saw me and that guy walking on the road while he was holding my waist. And so what? Hmm? Ah, he felt bad. I don't know what he might do next. Listen to me, Chioma. This is your opportunity to break free from that guy. So Ikenna is broke and can't take care of you. So I don't know why you're shaking. I, I just don't want him feeling bad. I don't want him to feel bad. <laughs> I don't understand you anymore. What is your business with how he feels? You're acting as if that guy has used touch and follow on you. Something must be wrong with you. You want to be tied with that Ikena. I don't understand what is wrong with you. Check if he has used touch and follow Juju on you because you're acting like a chameleon. Yesterday. Not tomorrow. And what do you mean by that? Hmm. Why would you say a thing like that? Because I've given you the best advice a friend can give to a friend. What do you have with the way he feels anyway? Look, this your new guy is cash wise. Don't lose him all. Wrap on your witty. Eh? Ha! Huh. Babe, what you said is good. The problem here is she didn't finish school. That is going to be a bit difficult. Um, she was studying to be an accountant. But she had to drop out because of her eye and um, financial difficulty. Babes. Yeah. That girl has been through a lot. I... I'm thinking... What if she decides to finish school? Would that make any sense? It makes a lot of sense. Um, you know what, I'll talk to her about it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she will be going back to the village tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know her father and her brother have not seen her since she got better. Mm. I've been trying to get Nas number since, but I can't reach him. I don't know why. Um, babes, mm -hmm. I need a favor from you. Oh, ask me anything. Um, since you'll be busy tomorrow, can I use one of your cars? Please. <laughs> what do you want to ask? I mean, my cars are yours. Which one do you want? Anyone. Anyone you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babes. Oh, it's alright. So. What? Where are you sleeping tonight? Her room. Maybe why would you ask me that question? Because you have been sleeping in our room since she came. So, are you sleeping in my room tonight? <laughs> okay, I am sleeping in your room tonight. Chimu will have to sleep alone. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be starting something. We got to be starting something. We got to be starting something. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Uh -huh. 
Mama, we start here. Oh, where? Right here. Right here. What right. if she comes out? <laughs> 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 Your daughter has developed wings to the extent of slipping out without the fear of her father. I'm going to show her the other side of mercy. I'm going to call my son and tell him what both of you have turned this family into. Come on, Nelson. Please, stop being petty. Why don't you just call your daughter and talk to her? And I have a problem with this, your new attitude of slapping a grown woman at will. It's not good. Why wouldn't I slap her? Why? She flooded my orders and I must deal with that. What orders did she flout? Oh, that she helped a sister in need? A sister who just had an eye surgery? She tried to protect her from being robbed or raped out there. Is that the order she flaunted? Look, I am her father. And she must listen to me. Now she disrespected me. And as a result, she will not be part of my will anymore. And that includes you. That is final. <laughs> Nelson. Ha. Ah. What have we done to deserve this? What is in our face? Bless you. Chiwendo. Bam. Bam. Hey! 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 God bless you. Yes, us! Yes, us. Oh, yeah. Chiwendo. Babo. Hey! Babo. Hey! 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 I don't have anything to give you. Mm -hmm. Or your friend who paid the bills for my daughter's operation. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'm going to tell you today is that the God I serve will surely reward you and your friends. Amen. Mm -hmm. You have a kind heart like your mother. And that is why I'm saying that no man or woman must give back to a replica. Mm -hmm. <coughs> God will surely reward all of you. Amen. 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 Amen, Uncle. Um, my father has said it all. But let me add something. Goodness and mercy shall follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can't turn to pastor. You can now what happened to your phone? My sister, my phone spoiled. So I took it to the repairer to repair for me. But the guy said that there's no need of me repairing it. That the best thing for me to do is buy a new phone. But phone is not my problem. Car, not go the wrong way. Thank oh. you for everything. Eh? No wonder. We, we tried reaching you, but we couldn't. But nevertheless, when I'm going, you follow me so I can get you a small phone. Eh? Are you serious? The one you can be managing for. Now. Are you serious? Papa, yeah? Melly said that she will buy me a new phone. Daddy, 
Now, you, you go in there and bring out anything you see from that house. Okay, sir. You, get the tool, grab the little fish. No, 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 if you don't die, you are not going to I was on my way to your house. If care is not taken, we shall banish Nelson from this clan. I am serious about it. As we speak now, Nduka was rushed to the hospital. Nelson came to the house and ordered his boys to throw Nduka's properties outside. And one was asked to climb the roof to remove the zinc. Hey. So that Miriga Mabundoka, no way. You mean that Indoka fainted and was rushed to hospital? Eh, Bumunchi, no, 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 go. He was rushed to the hospital. So did they bring out properties and zinc? No, the youths intervened and chased those hoodlums away. Hey! Brilliant youths. Very good. Nelson must see that. Then he is looking for. Are you saying that Nelson is attacking his brother for nothing? Yes. Let him say it. Even Ndoka himself don't want to say anything. My concern is that Nelson don't have any right over that house and land. You're very correct. It's true. Which hospital did they take him to? Uh, our very general hospital. Now, let's rush and see. Exactly. Him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. His blood pressure and sugar level are very high. You need to rest. By the special grace of God, he will be stable. And he needs a blood transfusion. Okay. Um, but what do we do? You need to make a deposit. Secondly, the doctor would like to see both of you in his office. Okay. Um, so how much is the deposit we need to make so you can commence treatment? The doctor will explain later. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So, um, let me see the doctor. Stay with so I can make the deposit at once. I'm coming. Chief, I'll make the deposit, eh? Don't worry, your cool will be fine. Oh? God will reward you. Amen. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> it's okay. Melissa, look at my father. Lying down, you're almost lifeless. It's okay. My father that doesn't want trouble at all. Imani, all his life he has been suffering. Usina Kaoba, all his life. What's so good? What's so good? It's okay. I'm just wondering why two brothers. Why can we also? When he was that he's suffering, nothing else triggered this baby. Wonder why two brothers from the same womb, from the same womb. I don't just want to talk. Madam, don't worry. Your dad will be fine. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. I have to go now. I need to go and drop with Chase car. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he will need it. But don't worry, I'll call you. I'll call you to know how he's doing. And then I'll come and see him tomorrow. Melissa, you've done enough. You've done enough. Chinwe, you're my sister. If I don't do it, who will? You need rest in there. And you too, you need rest. Hmm? Gonna come rest. It's okay, you too, you need rest then. Eh? Try and rest too. So let me just see you off to the door. Don't worry, don't worry. Stay with no, me. Let me see you off to the door.
Mom, that's inhumanity to Unkunduka is becoming too much. It's becoming alarming. <gasps> this is the height of wickedness. Melissa, I am tired. I don't even know what else to do. No, we have to do something. We can't allow this to continue. We have to do something. What do you suggest we do? I say we pack out of this house. Then we let him be alone. You have a point there. But do you think it's the best thing to do? Of course, Mom. Since he asked them to pack out of his house in the village, that he built it himself. Then let's pack out from the house he built in the city himself. I'll think about it. Since he wants to kill his brother, let him kill him. Anyway, I... I reported him to the Reverend Father when you called me. And I'm sure he must have invited him over. <laughs> Mom, are you for real? Really, when was the last time your husband attended a church service? Well, if you think the Reverend Father talking to him will make him change his mind. Let's just give it a try. Mom, I'm tired. Really, you, I, I, I don't understand. What, what went wrong? What is wrong with that? I've really been trying to comprehend, understand. I can't. Well, if you say so. I'll, I'll be going back to the village tomorrow. Mom, I have to. I have to help them. And you know Chinwendu just had a surgery. I need to help. She can't bear this. Melissa, you need to relax. Uncle Doka will be fine. Mom, I'm not the one that needs to relax. I need you to talk to your husband. What is wrong with him? What happened? Are you alright? I'm far from being alright. So, why did you report me to the Reverend Father? So, you think I don't have the right to decide on what I want and what I don't want? You think by reporting me to him, it will change anything? Nelson. Your attitude towards your brother is my problem. Why do you want to kill him to take over the pieces of land? Why? For goodness sake, you have a mansion in the village. What are you doing with a bungalow? Well, just bear in mind that my daughter and I are not happy with you. And whatever you do, try and see the Reverend Father. And if I don't? Your father fainted and was rushed to the hospital. Who told you? I'm sorry, but what I heard, is it true? 
Oh, he's not feeling fine and he's in the hospital. That's why I'm going now to give him food. Does it mean your father fainted because of food? Did you stop me here to insult me or something? No, I didn't stop you to insult you. Eh? This is the reason why I left you. You can't be taking care of me and at the same time taking care of your father. Can't you see that there is changes since I left you? Eh? We are not quarreling, you know? Mm -mm, we can never quarrel. But right now, shoe has size. Just look at me now. Hey! Kenna! Is it because I've been keeping quiet? Choma! Is it because I've been keeping quiet that you can be talking that rubbish? Kenna, did you hit me? Hey! Idiot. Ah! Your father fainted because of food, yes! Give your father food! Choma? Yes! Choma? Don't, 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 don't call my name there! It's yours. Look at you. Why don't you your father? He will faint again. Oh, sir. Kitty, 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 pa. Go feed your father. You cannot go feed yourself. Talk more of your father. Oh, yeah. I'm even talking to you. You are not. If you try it again, if you try it again, the drama you know before is all the same drama. Look at him. Richard thing. Watch me again, Paul. In the event that you need some money to take off yourself and Melissa, uh, be informed that I have unfrozen the account. I mean the joint account. <laughs> Bravo. Well, announcing for your information, I don't need your money anymore. Yes. You were expecting Melissa and I to starve to death. As you can see, it didn't work. As for the joint account, please calculate my own money and give me. Then you can freeze the other ones, unfreeze, keep freezing, and unfreezing it. Do whatever you please with it. Truly, I don't care anymore. You can go ahead and kill your brother and collect that award since you have seen yourself as today's pharaoh. Congratulations. Victoria, you call me pharaoh? I'm glad you still remember the story of pharaoh in the Bible. I thought you had forgotten. Excuse me. Steve, I'm beginning to have a rethink. I don't know if I still want to marry Melissa. I can't be a son-in-law to that man. That man is mean. He's heartless. Melissa told me, but I didn't know it was this ex then. So the man is hospitalized? Ah, oh, Steve. The man was sick. Now it has migrated to stroke. What? The man can neither move his arms nor his legs. Wow. Too bad. Uche. I found out that some mothers cheat. Steve, this is not a joking mother. It's serious. I'm talking about a man frustrating his own brother from sickness to stroke. What has mother's cheat got to do with it? Now tell me, how can a brother be doing this to his own brother from the same man's groan and the same womb? See, Uche, 
Maybe the woman got them from different men. So the blood may not be the same. No, if not, tell me one reason why a man will have the mind of treating his own brother this way. Or tell me why a sister will have the mind of stabbing her own sister. No matter what your brother do to you, you keep on pressing him. Because of what? You know, Chingwe told me a whole lot of things during the operation and I felt so bad about it. From her mother's death to her father's plight and a whole lot. I'm not even sure if that man will come out of that hospital alive. As if you have, you've said it all. Let's just pray he comes out alive. We have no option. We just have to go and see that. Yeah. You're right. Um, maybe tomorrow or next. What do you think? Whenever you're ready. I am. It's okay. If the table was mine, I would have said no. <laughs> well, thank you. <sighs> I'm Charles. I'm Melissa. Well, Melissa, nice meeting you. You look troubled. Do I? Yeah. I think you need someone to talk to. Thanks for your concern. I'm fine. Okay. Well, I can't claim to know you more than you know yourself, but I studied psychology in school, so and what makes you think your psychological instinct will not push you to make the wrong judgment someday? <laughs> I am not infallible. Anyways, it's my pleasure meeting you, Melissa. And I'm delighted to share this moment with you. Can we make this launch official some other time? No, we can't. As a matter of fact, I would like to enjoy my lunch alone, if you don't mind.
so white again now. We heard what happened to your father. But it's not the end of the world. Your father will be alright. Mm -hmm. Huh? How is he? <laughs> he is still there at the hospital. <laughs> he can now. Be a man and get hold of yourself. The man is not dead. You will be fine, okay? <laughs> so, My brother doesn't know for trouble. Man! Hey, 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 that's enough. That's enough. Your father doesn't look for trouble. Yes. Is that why you would cry yourself to death? I wonder. Huh? Look at you. You're crying out your life. Do you want to have high blood pressure? Do you want to fall sick? Do you want to die? Listen, I need you to understand that this world is vanity. I see Bob is fighting against brother. I see if there is anything in this world. Yes, the is that we don't have weapons. Nobody to help us. Listen. 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 You have to put yourself together. Stop. Crying and be a man. Like I said earlier, this world is not our home. There is nothing in this world. It's all vanity. Everything is going to be alright. Nothing will happen to your father. So you keep calm, stop crying, and be a man. I need you to understand one simple fact. We are not going to be here forever. One day we all will go. And this is the fact. We're in casket that we convey all of us back to six feet beneath. Yeah. Raise up, wake up, be a man. It's okay. So, where's Chima Melissa? They are in the hospital. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. We'll take us to the hospital. Yes. Take us there at once. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, man. My father has four brothers. It was even the last one that trained me in school. The four brothers are so close to each other. Even up to now, they still eat from the same plate. My dear, you are lucky because the feeling is not mutual. It's very nice. But I still see them not like brothers. You know, I've never seen my uncle in my father's house growing up. And I've always asked my father why he hates his brother so much. Are you not close to your father? My darling, when I was growing up, not anymore. Because you should have told you why he's doing all this. There must be a reason. Your father is not a madman. Something must have caused his reactions. But really, what would cause a brother to hate his brother so much? It still baffles me how families will go under one roof. And once the men get married, problem will set in. Brothers fighting each other. <laughs> we women are almost the root cause of all this, so. Not in our case, because my mother is an exception. She has tried to make peace between the two brothers, but to no avail.
Yet we don't know what is wrong with him. How do we even begin to talk about this? Melissa, you don't have to worry. We are here now. Something must be done. I believe that God will use the doctor to do a good job. Amen. Where is Jim? Where is Jim? She's in the world. Let's go. No, please, then. Let's go. Please. So, um, what do the doctors say? I mean, how is he there? He has been like this in his first day. Though the doctor assured us of a quick recovery. Just believe in God on that. Um, I want you to know that the devil is a liar. I mean, nothing will happen to daddy. Amen. But let us continue praying. Let us all be steadfast in prayers. Okay. Yeah. I believe that he will bounce back on his feet. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not after all. Chai, you guys are so amazing. Just, <laughs> just so amazing. I mean, you left your busy schedules. You left your business just to come see my father. Exactly. God bless you. It's I really okay. appreciate this. It's okay. Mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay. Um, you can um, now. Yeah. Um, with this, I'm sure you can buy anything for him at the moment. When next we'll come and get some more money. Which is your blessing. I was forgetting the witch. Thank you guys for moving around until you get back. Oh, it's Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Baby, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. I mean, what a show of love. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. I don't even know what to say. It's me. Hello, gentlemen. Father. Um, is your guy in? Yes, my guy. Okay. You know, so you did come. Of course, it's our one coming. Okay, if you go, sir. Thank you. God bless. Father, please be onto this house. I'm with your spirit. Thank you, man. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome, Father. Bless. Please. <laughs> welcome. It's all right. Please. You're welcome, Father. Okay. How is family? Fine. We're fine. Thank you. My husband. He's well. Yes, Father. <laughs> God is awesome. Chief, Chief, Father, come on, yeah, but this, but this, so, yeah. <sighs> so, what 
can I offer you? Nothing. We are patient. Excuse me. Excuse me, Father. Okay. Father. The fact that I agreed to keep to this appointment is a testimony to the fact that um, I am willing to give you my time and full attention. God bless you, Chief. Thank you. See, I want to know exactly why you hate your brother so much. Your wife and only daughter have been talking to you about this, according to them. But you keep giving them deaf ears. I want to ask you, Chief, are you from the same father and mother? Yes, Father. He's actually my elder brother. Yes. He's my senior with about seven years. According to my mother, after giving birth to him, she couldn't get pregnant again until seven years later. And that was when I was born. Ah, good to hear. Um, are you sure that both of you are from the same father? Yes, father. We are from the same father. I actually grew up to meet my father. He was a palm fruit cutter. Unfortunately, he fell from the palm tree and he died. So sorry about that. Since the both of you came from St. Ron, Hans, you know what exactly did he do to you? That warrant this hatred. We are own blood brother, for that matter. Father, Unduga caused me so much pain. He stabbed me right at the center of my heart. While growing up, he bullied me. He never gave me a chance. Nancy, how are you going to this me every day? I know that you need water to cook, and I don't play with your dad's boys. I don't play anything. You don't play anything? I'll clean this house, you can't not take it. Come, let us go inside and say so. <laughs> What is this? What did they do to you? Do you want to kill this boy for me? Eh? Do you want to kill him for me? You want to kill this boy, eh? I will burn you alive. This is the only brother that you have. Or Igor Oza. Or What is your problem? I know what is it? What did you do to him? You said since I have went to the stream to fetch some water that in the car will uh -huh. go wash. That in the car will go and wash the plates and the pots. Uh -huh. I was playing outside. In the car came and, st in the car came and started, they started dragging me as you come and wash this food. He came and slapped me and started dragging me inside. Is it true? Is it true? I'm asking you, is it true? Okay, you are standing. You are standing. Look at me. Oh, Jalala. Oh, Muka. Oh, Muka. Oh, Muka. You have a bad and a wicked heart. What did you do to your younger brother? Hey! The only brother that you have that you are supposed to protect, you want to kill him for me. Oh, man, baby. Nice, Muka. Come on, 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 come on,
Come on. What did I do to him? Huh? He kept bullying me for no reason. I mean, out of sheer wickedness. What did I do wrong? Was it that he never wanted a younger brother or what? I mean, my mother, our kinsmen, they reprimanded him for his sheer wickedness, for his bad attitude towards me, but he kept on bullying me. Relax, Chief. It's too bad, I know. But remember this. Both of you are sick kids then. And I'm not sure if there's any family that didn't go through such in their youth. It's normal. No, no, father. This wasn't normal. It wasn't. Now listen. I returned from school one day. I was sick. Terribly sick. I actually went to school because of examinations. Then, something terrible happened. Do not go anywhere today. You know you're the one cooking that cassava and you know it is your turn. It is my turn. You also know that I'm not feeling fine. How did that one consign me? You have been for me that you're sick, so mama will come and tell me I should go and cook that cassava. My friend, go inside and go and remove your clothes. Go and eat your food and come out and start cooking this cassava before mama returns soon. That one consigns you. So I'm not start cooking this cassava. You know I'm not feeling well. Then come put fire for me. I don't have strength. My eye! My eye! Mama, my eye! My eye! Mama, my eye! My eye! What happened to you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus, Jesus. I'm sorry, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I lost my eye because my mother couldn't pay the bills for the operation. And nobody was willing to help. I lost my eye because of the sheer wickedness of a blood brother. Father, Unduka is wicked. He's wicked. My mother cried for a month, particularly when she saw me in the mood. When I was working for my master, when I was in training, my colleagues were calling me one-eyed man. I was so ashamed of myself. By the time I graduated, I started making money. I wanted to get married. No woman agreed to marry me until I met my wife, who advised me to travel abroad and get the eye operated upon. Because I've made so much money, I spent fortune for them to change the eye. They have to replace it with an artificial one that looks like the natural one. Now people think I see with my two eyes, but I actually see with only this one. All because of the wickedness of my brother. What did I do to him? What? And you expect me, you and other people, they expect me to forgive him. No, I will not. Chief, I know that it's a sad story, but you have to forgive him. Even Christ our Savior passed through hell in the hands of his own people, but he forgave. I also learned as a brother, there are some fights he took for you. Please forgive him. Let that brotherly love flow again in your family. Give peace a chance. Please. All this happened at teenage years. Now we get mature. 
we think better as mature people we are. Please listen to your wife and daughter. They want peace. You have not showed these grudges for years now. Allow God to mediate. Father, even if I want to forgive, it is not possible. Why? Because I swear with a deity in my village that I will never forgive Unduka. That he will never eat from my pocket. That I will never give him a dime in my entire life. So it's not possible, Father, for me to forgive him. I'm sorry. This is serious. But Chief, you have to go back to that date and withdraw whatever vow or whatever thing you said to it. Tell the deity that you have forgiven your brother. I will not sit here and start to preach to you or the Bible for you. No. You have to go back to that deity and do the needful. Chief, please. Renew your heart. Bring your family together before it's too late. Chief. Chief Nelson. Akokaria. What you lost, I know you too well. You have a good heart. You have saved many from poverty in the church. You have contributed immensely to the church project. Remember what you want. Agonia. Please. I want to tell you this. Even if you forgive or not. It will never change the size of our grave. It will not make it deeper or sharp. Always remember this. I really feel sorry for Ikenna. Since his father got sick and has been hospitalized, he hasn't been himself. And this guy is a nice guy, you He used to be a nice guy, but not anymore. Right now, he needs money to take care of his old father. Or will you lend him some money? As what? Money lender. Now shut up and stop feeling for a poor church rat. 
What is your business with his father anyways? You is your own life, okay? You've not finished feeling for yourself. You're feeling for somebody else. Please, let's go to where we're going. Nkechi, do you know you are a wicked girl? As in, a very wicked girl. You, mm, you are nice. But we listen and do whatever I ask you to do. So between you and I, who is wicked? Please, let's go, Joe. Oh, you are a bad let's friend. Let's go. It's so unfortunate. You are a bad friend. Now I know. Come now, wait for me now. Wait now. Our brother has been in the hospital for a month now. And we have not planned on how to help him. Uh, we need to put in a helping hand, no matter how little. We need to, so that people like Nelson will not laugh at her. Forget Nelson. He has been like this from his childhood days. Uh, nobody should mention his name here, please. Let us talk another thing different. Nelson started changing when he lost his eyes. If we could remember. As soon as that thing happened, he became a pure sadist. Even among his mates. We should all know that his hatred for Ndoka is because of that his eye he lost. And he refused to say it. Now tell me, how can Nelson abandon his brother even at this point? We need to make contribution to help him out. That's very important. But one thing that baffles me is Ndoka's life. He was very, very rough at the growing stages. But he became so gentle. Before, even before he got married. <laughs> that is life for you. Sometimes you do not judge someone based on his past life. Life is a misery. Life is a misery. Babe. Yes, babe. I want to seize this moment to tell you how how happy I am towards your emotions as regards your family. You've tried. You've done a whole lot. I want you to know that you're not doing it for man. You're doing it for God. Because he's the only person that gave you the strength. He's the only person that can bless you. How is your uncle? Ah, it's getting better. In fact, he is better. Though he still can't use his legs and his right arm. But the mm. doctor said he will discharge him tomorrow. But with the help of um with the help of the wheelchair Steve gave him. God bless him. He will be able to move around. Mm. God is merciful. So, how much is the bill? Um, it's been paid. Hmm? <laughs> yes, babes. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, you remember the money I told you I withdrew from my father's account with his ATM card? I settled the bill with it. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. You too. Babe, I think you can uh, should think about something to do other than just sit idle at home. I don't think it's it's a wise thing to do if you'll ask me. Yes. He's trying. Well, Maybe later we'll talk about that. For now, how is Chiwendo? Ah, she's fine. In fact, everybody is fine. We are settled now. <laughs> all thanks to you. No, please. All <laughs> thanks to God. All thanks to God. <laughs> yes. 
Uh. I can't wait to see your father. I really need to come take you out of that house. I can't wait to get out of the house too. Just that I'll miss my mom. <laughs> but my my dad is not in the country right now. He traveled. Whenever he comes back, I will let you know. I would have said you should come see my mom, but she's not the one you need to see. <laughs> you need to see that coconut head. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Gosh, that man makes me angry. I just pray that one day your father will come to terms with reality. That one cannot actually buy a brother. Hmm. I hope so too. I mean, I pray so. All right, can we stop talking about people and things? Can we talk about my stomach? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry. I'm so sorry. So what do you want to eat? I would like to eat food. And after that, I would like to eat <laughs> Papa, mm -hmm. you know, you have to try standing up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can walk. Remember, the doctor said that. You should exercise more often, like to help. I know. Uh, I have already tried this money in my room. It's not easy for me. Papa, there is no time it will be easy on your mind. There is no time it will be easy. But we just have to keep trying. I can't wait for you to walk. Yeah. Listen now. Please mm -hmm. wait. Are you okay like this or I should take you to the wall? No, I'm okay. Sir? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. How are you today? I'm fine. Hmm. This sickness is a dangerous one. Look at our brother Nduka, confined on the wheelchair. Hey! So who else is with you now? Ah, yeah. uh, no. You are around. Welcome, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Sir. Hello? 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 Has my Hello? brother eaten? Yes, he already had breakfast. I'm already making lunch for him. All right. Yes. You know, the doctor instructed on the kind of meal that he should be taking now. So. My daughter, no more starch and salt. Yes. So he will not be eating food with salt? Mm. Yes, sir. I know. I know. Even the doctor said so. Personally, I found out that salt is very, very dangerous. It's a killer. Especially to men of your ages. Mm -hmm. Yes. If if actually we can cut down the use of salt and all these chips, man, gear and the rest of them. It will have to be better. Seriously. This is serious. Thank you, my daughter, for this useful information. Mm -hmm. yes, Thank you too. Thank you very much for taking care of our brother. Mm -hmm. Your children will surely take care of you. Is it? No. Did you see the oh? Thank you, sir. Mm. <laughs> uh, my daughter, if our brother need anything, hmm? yes, sir. Please, don't forget to let us know. Mm. Hmm? Uh, thank you, sir. We make sure we make our own contribution. We have to be on our way. Mm. Mm. Um, Ndoka. Ndoka. Mm. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. God bless you for always coming around. Bless you. Bless you too. You are children, we take care of you. Amen. You are taking care of our brother. You are children, children, we take care of you. Amen. 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 Amen.
Did you listen to that young girl? Yes, I did. I heard her clearly. As a matter of fact, from today, I will start avoiding salt. Though I know that all these things they call spices we eat every day, they are very, very dangerous in our system. Yes, these spices are the things that causes cancer, that kill people at their prime. Hmm. I have to avoid it. Listen, once I reach home now, I'll call my wife and I will instruct her on how to serve my food. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You Listen, we should be very careful with the things that goes into our mouth. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, we should be very careful. Of course. All right? I will do the same. I will tell my wife to stop using anything spice, all these they are called spices or whatever. Mm. Let us go back to our culture. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Yes. Dawa, dawa.
Yes, it's Jim. Ah! <laughs> How did you get to this place? Oh boy, it wasn't easy. Oh. Well, I asked and people directed me. Oh, you're welcome. Eh? <laughs> is this your father? Oh yes, sir. Uh, it's my father. He had a stroke. Yeah. Hey, uh, that is all you. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Sir, I hope you're taking good care of me. Oh yes, I'm trying my best. That's your welcome, Morgan. Yeah? Mm. Chima! Chima! Come, come, come. They have, 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 have you have the happy people. You're welcome, eh? Okay, I'm good to see you. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. This is my other son. I'm so surprised to see him here. How are you, son? Oh, yes, yes. How are you? Oh, welcome. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the is fine. Ah, we're always fine. I get him a seat. Okay. Get him a seat, eh? Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Get to seat, eh? I hope you're taking good care. Oh, yes, I'm trying my best, eh? Hey, Hurry Hello. up! So, that is why I've come to see you. My father has been terribly ill. And it has not been easy for us. Because. All I want you to do is to forgive him. Please. Forgive him for the allegations that he laid upon you. Especially now that the truth has finally crept out. Biko, Bahara. <laughs> Once again, thank you for finding me. At least I can sleep well today. Because I've been thinking. I have been thinking about my life. How someone I served for seven years will wake up and label me a thief. But to God be the glory. My brother, Pico, I know, I know it's not easy, but just try and forgive him. Find a place in your heart, please. I want them. No, this is not enough. I know, I know, I know. It, it, it's just something small. It's just a small token. But please, just manage it. Just find a place in your heart to forgive and forget. This is a check of two million naira. I, 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 I know it. Compared to what my father did to you, it's, it's, it's nothing. But please, just take it from me and Bahara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jingo. <laughs> ah, my brother. I wasn't expecting this. Yes. I never dreamt of this. Yes. I thought my whole world has ended. Well, thank God for everything. What can I say? Thank you very much. Thank you. My God will bless you. Thank you. 
You see this money? This money will build an empire for me. Amen. Yes. <laughs> but this means that you have forgiven me yeah, and my father. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Thank you. Yeah, for me. Yes. Thank you very no, much. No, 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 no. Stand up, stand up. Go sit. Stand up, sit. You don't know how much no this means. <laughs> Tima, don't worry. Thank you. I'm fine, okay? Hmm? But I'm happy this is your You're welcome. Thank you very much. Tima. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Radio. Mom told me that Reverend Father Jude came to see you. And you disrespected the man of God. Your brother who has been suffering from high blood pressure due to your constant attack on him and his family has been sick for a very long time. And that you have never, ever gone to see him. Rather, what did you do? You packed your bags and traveled. I understand you're looking for your money. I took it. I took it for Chinwendu's eye surgery. And after the surgery, I brought her back to this house to properly heal. And what did my father do? He sent his own brother's daughter out of his own house. Daddy, what is wrong? What happened? What really went wrong that we don't know? Yes, I understand your brother wronged you when you were young. He got you blind. And then, for that reason, you've hated him all this while. But then I ask you now, what did his children do to you? Did he cannot wrong you? What did Chinwendu do to you? Did they do anything? Maybe something we don't know about. Tell us. So I will understand because I really don't understand why you hate them so much. Your brother has been bedridden for a very long time now. The doctor said he has he has stroke. We're not even sure if he's going to survive it. And you have never bothered to go see him. Daddy, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, really. If you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down and beg you. Why don't you make peace with your brother? Why don't you just go and see him? Even if you're not going to contribute anything to his health or to his well-being, just see him and ask him, how are you? Please. Sit down, please. My daughter, I'm sorry. When Reverend Father Jude came, I didn't disrespect him. I guess your mother misunderstood me. There is no way I would have disrespected our Reverend Father. No. I, I traveled out because there was an emergency in my company and I needed to attend to it immediately. You would observe that since I came back, I've not displayed any form of animosity towards my brother. That house is his. 
he can stay. I have forgiven him. As a matter of fact, I I'm planning for us to go to the village to go and see him so that I can do proper assessment of his health condition. Thank you. Thank you. And if possible, fly him out for proper treatment. My daughter, Daddy. you are a good child. Upon all I did to you, you still kept this family bond that we had. You didn't pay me with evil as I did to you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, Daddy, thank you. Thank you so much. My wife, I'm sorry. You are a nice person. I ask myself, why did I treat you like that? When my brother lost the wife, I knew that you withdrew a huge sum of money from our joint account. And I knew that that money was for proper burial for his wife. That can only be done by somebody with a golden heart. Yes, my brother did some bad things to me, but that was in the past. To say the truth, he was good most times to me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Oh, Daddy, go on. No, please. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't allow me to die. God has blessed you. Help us. You think I will not catch you? You think I will not catch you? You beat my brother as if both of you are mates. Eh? You beat my brother as if both of you are mates. Eh? You think, tell, tell him not to insult his elders again. Okay? Did I insult you? Did I insult you? I start beating you and slapping in my eyes. Don't you see he has power in the eyes? Yes, you slapped him. Yes, you slapped him. Oh, I should leave you, eh? Well, I'm not buying no more. So it will be insulting me, Abby. You won't have luck. I didn't beat that in one eye. Eh? Why?
I can't feel you. Just calm down. Uh -huh. Hey, Buka. See what you gave your mother. Nafia, my own kid. He came. Now what happened? Amen. Bani am. He 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 came. He came because he asked me some some something during the exam. Uh huh. And I told him that I did not know. And he did this to, to me. Hi. Oh God. Ask a question. Hey, 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 ask him now. This boy we eat. No, nah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We have to take you to the chemist, eh? Yeah? We will take you to the chemist. Get three to go to the her first. Oh now you have go. I So you'll be injected at least. Eh? Let's go, let's go. Please calm down. Please calm down. I'm sorry. Let's go. 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 Forgive your brother, Papa, when he's still alive. Show him some love. Forget the past. On a baby first. Who went to Forget the past. Past in a baby first. Papi, get you not beginning to love us. Look at my brother. Stop hiding your heart, yes, in your mouth. If I let you go, no, be my. Oh, 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 oh,
If not for this appointment that um, I must keep, I am supposed to be in the village by now to see my brother. I traveled out of this country and so wasn't aware that he was sick. Well, from what I'm hearing, I'm sure I will have to fly him out of this country for proper treatment. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. There's nothing like peaceful coexistence among brothers. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, I... I'd like to inform you that I will be coming with my people for the proper introduction. <laughs> yeah. Um, same with me, sir. I will be coming for Chinwa as well. What? <laughs> oh my god! What is it? You never mentioned this to me. Who do you like the Latin? <laughs> Chinwa has a good heart. She can make a good one. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, man. Congrats. This is good news. I promise you one thing. I will take responsibility for all the expenses of your weddings. Oh. Both of you. Daddy! Daddy! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Thank you. 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 Um, um, I tried to offer them something, but they said that they don't want anything. Maybe you should persuade them. <laughs> I'll, I'll get them something. Uh -huh. I trust my mom. <laughs> Why are you disturbing me? When did I suddenly become your love again? I thought you said I don't have anything. And said all sort of rubbish. You are still using that same mouth to ask me to forgive you. Kinna. Kinna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean all those words I told you. It was my friend that deceived me. Nkechi, yes, mm -hmm. she deceived me. Please, I am so sorry. Please, just... Uh, uh, don't touch me. Are you okay? When did that one start? Oh, maybe you heard that my old guy has settled me. So you decided to come back so you can be asking me for money. Huh? You have failed. Okay. Listen, there is no point you wasting your time because what we had was in the past and no more okay now please just find a place in your hearts to forgive me please i beg you but don't touch me okay now i, I didn't hear your god said to you mm. i didn't yes i just came to ask for your forgiveness Please, just find a place in your heart to forgive don't, don't me. Don't touch me. Are you mad? Are you okay? Listen. Listen and listen, good John. Do not call my name again. Or stop me anywhere. Yes. Go back to the kitchen. There's still other guys that she can introduce you to. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, babe. Jesus. Kenna.
you have seen what happened. Your father is dead. <coughs> I want you to go straight to the market square now and get us a taxi so that we can go and deposit his body at the mortuary. Mm. Oh, you oh, 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 oh. cannot bring him back. Mm. Just to stop that topic. Oh, God, I'm finished. Yeah, I'm not finished. Yeah. 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 Look at Kebo. What's happening here? Your brother, Nduka, is dead. He died this morning. You are about to take him to the mortuary. My brother! Look at him. Look at him lying down. My brother! My brother! Nduka! 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 No, you can't be dead. My brother, why now? I can't tell him that I'm forgiving him. I'm too. I can't tell him that he can stay in the house. Rudy, hey, my brother, 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 my brother,